And uh, due to uh, apparently a Friday motherboard suddenly, we're not able to. Uh, we're have to be switching cameras tonight, so bear with us. Uh, it's going to be a lot of one shot, uh, single shots, cutting back and forth. Um, but it'll still be a great episode. Hope you enjoy. Uh, let's go ahead and get these announcements real fast. Uh, those who haven't seen it, Dragon Plus Magazine put up today a new issue in which they interviewed me and a bunch of other uh, great DMs that stream uh, for. West Marches and uh, Real Role Play and High Rollers and Chris Perkins himself. So go check that out, the new uh, issue of Dragon Plus, if you get the chance, and maybe find some wisdom in there. Um, also, we just released recently, if, unless you guys are releasing it now, a new uh, cell phone wallpaper featuring some of the amazing uh, photography of our recent group's photo shoot and costume. Uh, so that, I think, is up on the social media now. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Go find it! It is somewhere on the internet. It is, it is up on Twitter and on Facebook. There you go, Twitter and Facebook, go find it. Um, next up, a really amazing game called Masquerada that I'm lucky to be a part of. This is on Kickstarter to finish up their big push for the final uh, polish of the game. Uh, if you're looking for a great, kind of isometric, uh, beautifully drawn RPG experience, go check out the Kickstarter, and if it's something you want to help make the best it can possibly be, do so. So go check out Masquerada on Kickstarter. Um, also this week, or as of last Friday, the uh, Goblin one-shot that we did with Marisha and Talison and a bunch of other fantastic guests is up on the Geek and Sunday website. If you haven't seen it yet, it's ridiculous, and I think you'll enjoy it. Um, and also, as a reminder that the How You Want to Do This sweaters are still up for pre-order in the store. Oh wait, but it has to switch. No, it switches. It switches? They can switch oh. cameras. Oh. See, you got that? Just one at a time. Wait, wait. And it's like sitcom we finally right? have the How You Want to Do This t-shirts back in stock hey. in the shop. So those who missed that, we finally, finally got them back up in stock on the website. So if you're looking for those, they're available. They're for okay. pre-order for another week. Boom. There's like modeling happening. And then, I know, there was modeling. These these European models are in these smoking hot. Oh, these European models? Look, they see something fascinating far away and they're turning to see it. Oh, look at that. Um. Liam. What? Oh man, I hope in the last hour, I hope in the last hour where you had all this time to kill, you went to Wormwood Gaming to get boxes for your dice where you could use the code crit roll. Crit roll. Crit roll. Crit roll to get free shipping. Not free boxes, but free shipping with crit roll. Uh, also, I think we've got one more week on their Kickstarter for the Sentinel box. You can get this logo on any box, but right you can also get the Vox Machina box, which is pretty sweet. Inlaid and, <laughs> and fancy. If you're nuts. I keep a human heart in here. It's true. Uh, crit roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else? Are we gonna get jump into this game for tonight? I like this candle. Do it. Whoop, whoop. Oh my let's gosh. do it. All right, folks. Let's go ahead and bring us down back into tonight's episode of Critical Role. Mm-hmm. Did they do it? Welcome back. So, last we left off, the party, having found their way back to the city of Westeron, which had been overrun by the herd of roving nomadic 
uh, tribal barbarians and other such uh, brigands that wander the landscape of Taldore that Grog once belonged to uh, had swooped in and taken Westruin after the uh, Chroma Conclave dragon attack across this countryside. Um, the party had devised a plan to find their way into the town, or at least one of them would distract uh, a cl cluster of these individuals, these goliaths, many of which are you know, half-giant goliaths, pulling them out of the city into a large pit that had been hidden after being carved by the druid Keyleth. Uh, Scanlan went in to be the distraction, becoming invisible, leaping to the center of the main town square right in front of the Margrave's house, where apparently the leader of this clan, uh, Kevdak, which has a long history with Grog, resides. As part of this distraction, Scanlan released a thunder wave, and in doing so, unknowingly, also revealed himself as the invisibility spell went away. <laughs> Had an entire cluster of very angry-looking uh, <laughs> individuals bear down on him. Managed to escape thanks to the Dimension Door twice, and made your way into the partially ruined Temple of Arathis, where you came face to face with a number of uh, refugee Western uh, villagers <coughs> and Dr. Dranzel and Kaylee. And that is where he left off. So, after appearing and having a moment of realizing the scenario, you see uh, a handful of people, uh, most of them filthy, um, completely beleaguered and, and in need of not being in this circumstance as long as they possibly can. And you can see uh, Kaylee kind of holding them back defensively and Dranzel having just noticed your appearance and calling out to you with a chuckle, realizing that you're here and Kaylee rolling her eyes, apparently unable to really escape through fate, though there is a look, a brief glance of uh, appreciation that at least you're not burnt to a crisp somewhere outside of Iman. But uh, Dranzel walks up to you and is like, as hushed as he can be, Scanlan, oh, so glad to see that you survived. What are you doing here? <clears throat> well, uh, uh, Doctor, um, there will be plenty of time for, uh, for festive reunions and uh, uh, hopefully tearful hellos, but right now I'm, I'm afraid uh, we have a bit of a problem. See, my friends are stationed outside the main gate, lying in wait for these Goliaths that are terrorizing the town. And my mission was to come in here and somehow convince the Goliaths to leave through the main gate, and my mission is not complete, and I'm afraid, well, I've roused them, and they are <laughs> going to come in here and kill us all, uh, unless, uh, unless I get them out through the main gate. So, so we're in a bit of a time crunch. Hi. Um, and Doctor, <laughs> Doctor, you are such a long friend of mine and a trusted companion, but I'm afraid, though I love you, I, uh, you cannot help me. I, I, I need Kaylee's help in this. Uh, at which point, uh, Drenzel, whose face has fallen into a look of uh, absolute fear and despair to confusion to Mild frustration, continue, still glaring in your face, goes, well, I guess some things don't change over time, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, well, uh, <coughs> Kaylee. And he looks over her shoulder and Kaylee kind of steps up now and brushes off her shoulder. All right. So what kind of business am I getting you out of now, father? <sighs> well, uh, not, just, not just getting me out of, I, I'm afraid, I'm afraid we'll all die if, if you don't help. Um, Great, great, that's fantastic. I'm sorry. You've just banished all of these fine folks to their demise. No, I feel not, good. No, no, I haven't, not, not if you help. So, um, listen, I, I've been thinking a lot about you and it's so wonderful to see you and I, I just need you to trust me in this and, and lend me your, your talents and your magic if, if you can. Will you trust me today? Uh, it doesn't seem like I really have much of a choice. At which point you hear on the outside footfalls, heavy footfalls, going in the street on the outside of the temple, and you hear some shouting muffled in the distance. Everyone kind of stays really still and silent, and then you hear a few more footsteps. On the partially broken door of the temple, uh, some heavy, Hand falls hit, and everyone just kind of ducks down, and the air leaves the room entirely. Um, at which point, there's a mo pa moment of pause, and the door <laughs> begins to push open against all the rocks, and this barricade that's been placed against the door slides against the ground. It opens ever so slightly. <laughs> 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 
quiet still stands, and you see these fingers come through and pull it, and another voice say, Hey, give me a hand here! Shit. This one's barricaded! <laughs> the door <laughs> slides a couple more inches in, and you see an arm come through now, holding against the side of the room. Another arm comes out. Shit. No, no. Can I can I grab uh, Kaylee and get everyone to? Is there anywhere to hide in this room? Any any place in the back? Uh, well, it's a partially collapsed, like half ceiling area. This part of the temple on the second floor. Uh, there is an area beneath the spiral staircase that leads to the second floor that could fit most of the people there. Okay, I'm going to very quickly uh, and with her help usher everybody back into this back stair. Okay. Turn around. Blow my horn of fog to fill the room partially with smoke. <coughs> okay. And then I'm going to tell Kaylee, uh, can you throw your voice? After the <laughs> room just fills with this heavy, heavy mist, obscuring the vision of most everyone in the room that isn't directly at your side, you hear the voice at the door go, hey, what, what's that going on? And they're now fighting heavily against the door and it's slamming against the barricade. <laughs> And Kelly, kind of getting a feel for what's happening. All right. What, what can I do? Can, you can you can throw your voice. I've seen you do it once, I right? I can. I can. Can you change your voice? I can. Okay. Can you be the scariest fucking voice you've ever done in your entire life? I will tell you what to say. I'll whisper it to you. You just be the voice. I will be the the visuals. All right. I'm going to create an image and you're going to talk out of it, all right? All right, all right, huh? Let's go. Okay. So I will use just a minor illusion uh, to create the head of Stone Jaw, Strong Jaw. Yes! yes. <laughs> jaw Jaw? Jaw Jaw. Jaw Jaw! jaw, jaw. <laughs> okay, I like it. <laughs> oh, Misa, sorry. <laughs> Talking about my family now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. All right, Sorry, so. I'm no fucking Gungan. <laughs> <laughs> so, as, uh, as the essence of, of minor illusion, it is a very, very simple illusion. For sure. Uh, it, it, it's, as far as I know, uh, it can't even really move. Yeah. It can be an image. Yeah, that's fine. So, it's going to be floating amongst so, uh, fog. Okay, so within this fog, you see as they push through the door, the barricade <laughs> clatters down a section of a table and a chair and a lot of the rubble that was kind of scooped up from the, the roof that had caved in, jammed against this door, gets <laughs> skirted back, tumbles and clatters ag- across the, uh, the stonework. And you see uh, one a Goliath and one kind of rough looking human with a ragged beard come rushing in, uh, you know, dual hand axes drawn and looking about the fog as suddenly, out of the middle of this space, a giant, semi-translucent, disembodied head of what you recall um, is a... Is it just a painted doll? Stone jaw, strong jaw. Well said. Well said. Stands there, gleaming forward at a a, a large, though, you know. uh, I will say initially, what is the DC on this? Uh, it's through the hand comb, so it's 20. Okay. Oh, wow. They both stop and just kind of go, uh, <laughs> are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> the human's like, yeah. And there's just a moment of pause there, and Kelly's looking at you like. Okay, <sighs> really quick. Here's your motivation. You're a you're a dead Goliath. You were killed uh, in in uh, in combat uh, by one of your own, and you probably sound really scary and fucked up. Ready? Go. <laughs> okay. I tell her uh, I am Stone Jaw, Strong Jaw. She take, puts her hands together and clasps almost like the uh, the grass reeds that you blow into. But as she speaks into her hand, it sends out sends out these these rippling uh, kind of uh, almost like a, like like a heat distortion. That just kind of scatters out from her hand, and outside of this central illusion, you hear a voice <coughs> come moving for. I Fuck yes. <laughs> am Stone Jaw Strong Jaw, returned from the realm of the dead. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Turns to you. Keep going, keep going. You're doing great. I love you. Okay. Uh, um, <clears throat> uh, Kevdak's son, Zanror, killed me in, in dishonorable combat. 
Kervdax son Zanro killed me in dishonorable combat. I can't go to the other side until I have avenged my death. I cannot move on to the other side until I've avenged my death. <laughs> mm. uh. <laughs> the Goliath goes, sorry then. <laughs> and he steps out of the room. The guy with the scraggled beard who you gather is of a different type of a tribal background than the Goliath, just kind of gleans an eye untrustingly. Yeah. Strong jaw, you say? How strong is that jaw of yours? <laughs> and it throws an axe towards it. Okay. Just passes through and clatters behind. Okay. Uh, quick, say, you idiot, I am but a projection. <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> I am but a projection. The real stone jaw is currently outside the main gate, waiting for a, a, a battle of revenge against Xanror. Send him now. That's a lot. I know. <laughs> Sorry, Kaylee. <laughs> the real Xanror stands outside the city gate, waiting <laughs> for vengeance yeah, against yeah, Xanror. You're doing great, you're doing great. <laughs> Bring him now, or you all shall suffer. That last part was improv. That was amazing, King. Thank you, thank you. There's like a slight pause. <laughs> Can I have my axe back? Uh, I I motion to uh, uh, Doctor Dra to to throw it back to him. <laughs> Runs over, feels for it, scatters around. Throw it hard. I will throw it hard. No, no, don't say that part. Don't say that part. It's fine. You're doing great. At this point, he starts backing up towards the door. At this point, the action clatters past him and like slams into the wood behind him. He reaches up without looking away, grabs it. Clink. Thank you. Uh, the main gate. The main gate. The main gate. Ow. There's like four gates into the city. Which main gate? Do I know what it looks like? The Western Gate. The Western Gate! The Western Gate! The Western <laughs> Gate! Right, right. I'll let him know. And he just leaves. Doesn't even touch the door and just bolts out the back. Oh, man, <laughs> Moment of quiet. <laughs> I just hope that works. Dr. Transel walks by. <laughs> to say you two make quite the team. I would say that as well, yes. I. I would. Thank you, Kaylee. That was better than I could have ever done. That's true. <laughs> All right then, so uh, we're getting people out of here. Now things have gone a bit up. How are you gonna get the rest of these folks out? And Dranzel thinks for a second, he goes, well, we can't wait for the rest of the team. They're probably still on the way back from Kaimo. <sighs> I'm unfortunately mostly spent in my capabilities for the day. Scanlon, what do you got? To keep us all safe? Uh, no, to get the rest of these poor saps out. Out of the city? Jesus. Uh, Are you going to leave them here unguarded? Oh, no, of course I'm not going to leave them unguarded. I just, I, I mean, we can't, we, how many people are here? I uh, look around the room, there's nine people. Uh... And get me and Kaylee out. <laughs> uh, uh, I think we should just hunker down. <laughs> I, I can't get us out. I'm sorry. I, 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 I mean, we we could sneak. We could sneak. We could try to make a sneak for it. Are there sewers here? Uh, Kaylee nods. There are sewers. Hey. Uh, Close by. Is there an entrance nearby? About two blocks that way, and she points to the south side of the city. Okay. So should we wait for your friends, or should we go ahead and take this route? We should wait and make sure that we hear Goliath footsteps leaving the, the city before we move, and then go. All right. Let's take a moment and make sure at least all the chaos is moving that way. 
and quiet takes over as the fog slowly fades over the next few minutes, and you all stay out of sight. Now, the rest of you guys are currently waiting on the outskirts of the western side of town. Um, you hear the bells going off in the distance. You hear the uh, the sound of shouts as the guards that were at that post start stepping back inward and trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, at this distance, it's hard to make out exactly what conversation's happening, but the uh, the energy of the outside of the city has definitely climbed up a few paces, which leads you to believe, hopefully this means Scanlan's done his job. We shall find out. Is there any other preparation you guys want to go through right now, or are you just waiting to see any sign of movement? Are we, are we all like together, <coughs> or are we spread out across everything? We're, we're birds. You're birds. We're birds on a wall. We're standing together in the in like the tall grass. That's right. We were watching. Okay. Yeah, I. Everybody else. I'm gonna take think? a minute to anybody standing near me. I'm gonna take a minute and use. Um, uh, where's my thing? I'm freaking out. Um, hide in plain sight. Alrighty. And make it to where we can set a, a s- surprise attack on them. Okay. Anybody coming out? Yeah. All right. Damn. All right. So as part of that, have you guys both roll stealth checks? Sure. <laughs> Do we st- is the pass without a trace still active from before? Uh, I think I, I, th- cast- I think while I cast it before you arrived or in the, the approach, so yeah. <coughs> okay, so add ten to that. Mm. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Hopefully, that's enough. <laughs> it's like that's even really right. gorgeous. Um, since we're um, birds, I I I want to take a, a just a, an occasional high high level circle around. circle around just to okay. see what's up. Both of you guys roll perception checks. Okay. 26. Uh, 18. 26, 18? Okay. Oh, no, see, that's what we could do, Matt. Them. We could have just sat you on the same yeah, side of the table as us. Yeah, could have been behind us. us and... Oh, that's true. That is true. Oh, well. Too late now. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> oh, too late. <laughs> Super time now. Any products you want me to hawk while the camera's on us? Those shirts, man. These shirts? Those shirts, these shirts. How do you want to do this? How do you want to do this? The hoodie and the t-shirt. Yeah. T-shirt in stock, one more week. How do you want to do this? T-shirts are now available for something. Pre-order? Also pre-order for another week. I don't know, man. Also, the the necklaces and the keychains are still Necklaces and keychains, but but those are a fantastic birthday or Christmas gift. They really are. What are the necklaces? (laughs) Or Arbor Day, what's coming up? The necklaces we still haven't gotten those. Arbor Day seems like Memorial Day. Memorial Day. People give gifts on Memorial Day. I got gifts on Memorial Day. Yeah. So underneath your Memorial Day tree this year. It's beautiful, it's cute. It's like steel. Oh my gosh. So. Yes, Pike. Can I cast Guardian of Faith um, uh, near us, where we are hiding at the gate. If you'd like to. Yes. Uh, on on your location at the gate, or somewhere else. Because we're we're all we're all together by the hole that you dug. Aren't we in the? We're like well, in, the, we're in the grass. We're in the grass yes. down we're towards back. the front, kind of far further back from the gate. Uh, where are you guys standing right now? Are you because the twins are by themselves, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, so we're all apart. Yeah. Do you you and Grog are kind of your own pod right now. What are you guys doing? Hey, hey. <laughs> I just forgot you were Just us there. chilling. <laughs> okay. About to slit some skulls. Um. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna pause. Okay, you're gonna hold off? Yeah. All right, so you guys, what are you doing? <laughs> Jesus. Um, okay, okay. Okay, I'm on the on the wall, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna kind of like scooch back a little bit, so I'm kind of hidden, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop my animal form. Okay. And I'm gonna go over the our earpieces. Mm-hmm. I'm um, flying near her just so I can hear her, but I can't talk. Okay. It looks like there's about six coming our way. I don't know how well Scanlan's distraction worked. It looks like they're double down, doubling down and setting up a heavy defense in the center of the town. Is Scanlan listening to you right now? Scanlan, can you hear me? There's Scanlan? No, there's no response. Shit. I, I think he's too far away, you guys. I, I don't know. Oh. Hopefully he wasn't captured. There, there's about six coming this way, so stay down. Hopefully the trap works. Uh, I just thought of something. Hey, remember when we were like walking through the woods and we fought those six Goliaths and I stopped the fight? Uh-huh. Remember? Yeah. yeah, that was Zanroar, right? Right. So I think he knows that I'm not like back from the dead. 
Well, shit, Grog. I know, I, I just thought of it, you know, like the whole magic thing might not actually work. So the whole plan we made is stupid? No, 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 I'm just well, saying, let's move forward father, cheerily. Right? Your father is dead, right? Your, your dad's yes, dead? Yes, yes. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, he is, yes. He's dead. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, well, hopefully it works. And just, I, I don't and know just how well a, this is working. Just a pro tip, Vax, what would you say is the number one thing to keep in mind when fighting someone like me? Uh, d don't. Keep your distance. Yeah, keep your distance. All right, that's enough. What's our plan B <laughs> in case Zanroy never comes out? We go in and we kill everyone. Yeah, pretty much. Good everyone? Plan. Well, except for the nice people. Oh. <laughs> and we decide who the nice people are. <laughs> I um. think I can confirm that Vox Machina has been a terrible influence on me. Just want to throw that out. <laughs> All right, let's go. Where are they? Where are they? Are they um, there? I, I also, I want to, I, I want to just see if I recognize, I'm, I'm just doing a little, another little Flippity flop scan around. I just want to see if I recognize uh, his brother as one of the people who's coming to the gate or not. Uh, I'll get I'll get down low for that. Not a brother per se. My cousin. Your cousin, I mean. Yeah. Uh, the one I recognize because I the only one I've met. Right. right. Uh, at this height. I'll get. I'll get. I'll, I'll, you get low. I'll get low. Okay. Uh, you don't see anybody uh, coming towards that direction that resembles the individual you met that one time before. Mm. Um, okay. Fine. Uh, keep, keep I'm gonna go looking. However, what you do notice is and you quickly duck out of the way, there are two giant eagles that oh, come coasting over the city in the same direction. Giant eagles? Okay, I'm gonna go find a perch on the other side of the gate, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna find a nice little sniper's nest. I'm assuming and, you have okay. some clan members who might be druids, do you know? Uh, you're speaking really smart right now, and it's confusing me. Make sure you're <laughs> hiding, uh, Keyleth. Am I, I, I'm on a stealth. I kind of want to hunker down against the wall and Roll stealth. Roll stealth check. I'm staying bird until the last possible moment. Uh, 21. 21? Hmm. 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 Also, Pardon? guys, if, if no one comes towards the gate in the next five, ten minutes. They're on their way, they're right? They're not going to come. Well, all right, I hope so. But if nobody's here in ten, I think we got to go in. Is there, is there anyone coming towards the western? At gate? this point in time, you guys on your side notice, and you as well, uh, a cluster of about six individuals come rushing towards the gate, and the two guards who were that were to the side earlier join up with them. They stop for a second and they discuss at a distance. Then they all turn and rush towards the gate as a group of nine. Um, come on, trap! Work, trap! Work, trap! Come on! As they're rushing forward, it's it's about three, two. And then a scattered like fourish in the back. Um, they go bolting through, eyes around, looking for any sort of sight of anyone waiting at the front of the gate. They begin to slow their pace a little bit, not seeing anybody immediately out there as they begin to go through the center of the archway. Someone make a distraction! Quick! No, I, ste I step out from cover, very slowly, and walk out in the middle of the road. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, as you step out, they all immediately put their hands out and stop. And uh, to the guards, shout out, "You, who goes there?" <laughs> Stern job. Oh, no. <laughs> Two of them of that group start stepping backwards, <laughs> um, while. The two of the guards that were at the egg, station at the gate the entire time just go cutting down, and they go into a run through the rest of the 10, 15 foot area around this, the the center part of the gate out into the main area out front. As they begin stepping, watching in the distance, you notice one foot crumbles through, and all of a sudden the second foot and the earth begins to just tumble out from underneath two of them. Three of them, four of them, five of them, all begin just like the first line, the first two groups weren't even paying attention and focused on you as they charged through and all begin to tumble inside. Yes! The uh, Of the last four, two of them managed to stop in time to kind of catch themselves. Of all the ones that fell, though, 
The, the ones in front who originally got caught have no saving throw. They just plummet, screaming down into two, this, this. Two managed not to fall. Uh, well, I'm, two managed not to fall. Right it's 180 feet. It's 180 Holy feet. Holy two, two, two managed not to fall. Uh, hold on. I think so. Okay. Two, two managed to avoid the entire crumbling portion of it, uh, and there are three of them that are currently holding onto the edges and trying to pull themselves back up. Mm, can I? Can I find? I want to. I want to find a, a good enough vantage point where I'm behind them and I can give them a push, like from a distance. As a bird. You're see, bird. I was gonna say. Well, I can drop bird. as soon as he lands. I drop his polymorph as soon as he lands. Well, but I was uh, hidden, okay. waiting for. Oh, well, I, he's on I, the roof. I'm on the roof. Okay. He's on the wall. Well, first I'm gonna see how much damage they took. Okay. <laughs> so all of it. We uh, are the best fired, at planning. That is. That is. You did that really uh, well. <laughs> Eighty-three damage to them. Eighty-three. <laughs> That's pretty uh, good. And if I look at the sheet <laughs> here. He's toast for uh, him. And they're prone. You, uh, <laughs> we would be dead. That's me. No, you, you hear a horrible scream and a crunch sound as they all, those that fell, are unconscious or currently completely unable. Yes! Counter- we did so much <laughs> Low moans of pain, barely echoing up from underneath as the other ones are like, oh god, they grab the arms of the ones that are, are hanging over and start pulling oh, wait, them I, clustered in, yeah. Uh, and you've come I want to take uh, two, two uh, I'm taking two, um, uh, uh, where's my English? I have it, trick shot, um, push shots. Okay, go for yeah. it. Go for it. Push shot number one. Uh, that's, uh, with retort, I'm not using the big gun. Uh, uh, 18, 19, 21. 21 hits. Um, and then they, Every time they hit, they take damage, and they also. Uh, um, yeah, they don't even have a, a. They don't even have a save. Nope, it just pushes them. Okay, that's and then that does. Uh, uh, that's fourteen points of damage. Okay. For the, the one, which then that one gets pushed over the side. <laughs> does not make a save to try and catch the edge. Plummets down, suffering. Just because it's fun to check. 70 points of damage. <laughs> the sickening oh, smack sound. Landing on the other ones. Landing on the other ones. It's awful. You don't <laughs> looking down there would be terrible right now. That's the rest. Paste. The and the next shot. one. Um that's uh 17, 27, 20, 30 to hit. That hits. Yeah. Good roll damage on that one. Uh that's 13 points of, of piercing damage. Uh 13 points of piercing damage. Okay. Plus the push. He gets pushed, falls off the edge, catches his arm on the side. And begins pulling himself up. Now there's four of them that are currently now about to start climbing up outside of this uh, this collapsed portion of Earth. But the Earth is still crumbling beneath them, and um, they're trying. I they're cast. Them keeping up. I cast uh, Hail of Thorns and shoot in the cluster of them. Okay. That one uh, go ahead and uh, make the. <laughs> what's the Hail of Thorns? It is. Does, does does that drop count as a kill? Do I get a grit point back for that or no? Uh, yeah, I'll save okay. for that. The next time I hit a creature with a ranged weapon, I rolled a 27. That was really good. Yeah, so you, uh, well right now you're aiming at them all in the hole. So even from your perspective, they're gonna have three quarters cover. So that, that's gonna be... I just need to hit the one that's closest to the top. Right, what's your total roll on that? 27. 27, yeah, even with the three quarters cover, that'll still hit. Uh, okay, so go ahead and roll damage on that. Is there one still standing, by the way, who's not? No, both the ones that were standing got pushed into the tunnel by, by gun blast from behind. <laughs> shoved into the large open uh, chasm beneath them. 26 damage. 26 damage. Casting it at what level? At level three. At level three? Nice. All right, each creature within five feet of it. Okay, so yep. it's at five feet, the hole is a much bigger space, so it only hits two of them. Okay. Um, I'll fling a dagger at the last one, which I'm done. Okay. So this is all happening simultaneously. <laughs> Daggers. <laughs> um, so it blasts two of them. They both <clears throat> catch Oh them. wait, that was sneak attack. Yes, so you would actually get to. Uh, Add another six? Yeah. Six. six. Wow. All right, that one's looking not too happy. Uh, <laughs> and your turn? All right, I'm throwing one dagger. Okay, and it's advantage because I'm hiding. And it is 27 to hit. That hits, even with the uh, three quarters cover, go for and it. And it's a uh, sneak attack, yeah, they had no and idea it's a surprise, you were there. so it's a crit, right? Because I'm hidden underneath shit, because she hit us. Hide in plain sight. Technically, we'll be, technically uh, 
yeah, I'll let that happen, because it's part of the surprise round. We'll say this is all happening simultaneously as they fall in, grasp, <laughs> barely catch themselves, and then the blade comes out of nowhere. So yeah, I'll, I'll let that happen. Uh, and now all the dice. 39, 34, 34 times 2 is 68, plus the bonus is 70, uh, 74. It's obscene. Uh, with that, the blade <laughs> sinks into the uh, top of the skull of the one that Goliath's trying to pull himself out. As it hits, his arms just go limp and he falls backward <laughs> and disappears beneath the earth. And just in case I'm going to use my bonus action, die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit, go I ahead should've and roll. done that. Go ahead and roll <laughs> no, that. I'll scared to none gother than thou. Uh, uh, 20, uh, 20, 20, 25. 25? Okay, good enough. <laughs> All right. Could I do the same thing, because I forgot to hide up for my bonus action as well? Sure. Okay. <laughs> both both of them just <laughs> Pity stuff. 30. Like so 30, much okay. vampire lurkers. You had 10? All right. Uh, no, I didn't. Wait, All hard. right, so, so as it stands 30. now, there are, I believe, Two more in there that are currently holding on to try and find their way up. Uh, as this is happening, Keith, and you're paying attention, you hear this high pitch. Oh, shit. Look over your shoulder, just in time to see a large, giant eagle swoop down, talons extended towards you, visible on the top of the wall. There's no, there's no way I can use my third shot really quick. Is there? Uh, no, you're too focused on the thing in front of you. Okay. Let the eagle um, soar. It swoops down and strikes you with the talons, pushing you. Forward, that is going to be a uh, 20 to hit yeah, your AC. That hits. All right. You suffer uh, nine points of piercing damage as its claws dig into you and attempt to throw you from the top of the wall. Okay, bring um, it. Go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw to try and grab the ledge before you plummet. That's not great. Uh, 11. Unfortunately, you don't even know which way is up as the talons chuck you forth and you plummet from the top of the wall. You fall down a total of 45 feet. Can I go like, can I turn back into a raven as I fall? My, my other bonus, my other action, quick action? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll say, I'll say go ahead and make, make a constitution saving throw as part of a concentration check just to see if you're able to, yep. to, to focus your mind in that quick period of time. Uh, uh, 19. 19, yeah. As you're, as you're spiraling backwards, seeing the eagle look behind you, you can see the ground, close your eyes, and poof, scoop upward into the form awesome. of a raven. Great work, great work. That was sick. Right. Searle! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys watch as, as the other two guys stand up, getting out of the hole, and look about. You are now still standing out in the middle of the thoroughfare. Uh, you're hiding off behind one of the, uh, one of the, Little chunks of rubble and rock that permeate the outside of the wall in places. Um, you guys are still hidden. Um, since I'm, a, oh sorry, since I'm a raven now, can I do a loop back to the center of town and see what's going on? Yep. So you're heading, start heading back to the center of town. It's going to take you a little bit to get there. Yep. Uh, they they get back up to the top and they spend most of their turn getting to that edge and then taking a few steps away from it, getting their weapons out and kind of glaring at each other and trying to figure out what the hell they can do right now, as. You start looming towards them. I unarmed start walking towards them. And I say, Where is Kevdak? Make a deception check. Bully. Not his strength. No, no. <laughs> Come on, baby. 13? 13? They're dummies. Plus. <laughs> Alright. Um, as, as you say that, um, of court. One, one of the two individuals has pulled their way out. Uh, Humanoid, kind of, you know, kind of a grizzled beard. Uh, his eyes kind of go wide, and he just stands still for a second. The other one is this Goliath, who, as he approaches, you get you get a, a familiarity with it. You remember this 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 individual, uh, a little younger than you, uh, has a pretty pretty heavy scar from the bottom of the chin that goes down to about the sternum, uh, named by the, by the name of Suda, um, who just kind of steps forward, gives you a look over, and goes, Stanjo. Nah. You're a grog stronger, that's what you are. Fool, you know not who I am. I have not come through flame and death to deal with filth like you. He's a bleeding liar. Come on, you guys have been hot. And he goes ahead and takes his two hand axes, throws them in the air, and kind of catches him. He goes, and rushes in towards you. 
Um, however, he isn't able to make anything else this turn except for a movement into base to base with Grog. We'll say for the for the purposes of this open space, uh, Grog will be there, and this one. Suda. <coughs> Suda. 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 Not quite as oh, he's tiny. sad blade there. He's pathetic. <laughs> Look at that loser. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him, Grog! Kill him, Grog! Oh. Anybody else doing anything right now in this turn? Or we're just waiting to see what happens here. I'm observing. Okay. So, as you're watching and you're, you're heading off that direction, Grog comes forward in your face. What are you going to do? I'm going to reload, actually. I would love to rage. <laughs> yes. All right. I take out the Firebrand Warhammer, and I'm going to tattoo his ass. <laughs> Go for it. Go ahead and take your two attacks. To the opening credits. Sixteen. <laughs> uh, Sixteen uh, misses. Oh, oh, wow! I cast War God's blessing. <gasps> As Pike steps out from the high grass in the section what up, of stone. What up, motherfucker? Hear <laughs> <laughs> that in the back Pike of your head, back. and with that, you, the the little bit of nervous <laughs> distraction to the side <laughs> turns his face, his eyes peeking out the corner of of. of of, of the uh, the eye sockets, and that's just the little moment of, of uh, opportunity you need to go ahead and double up and slam upward with the oh. butt of the hammer. Go ahead yeah. and roll yes. damage to that attack. Three. Oh god, it's been so long since I used the. Uh, that's seventeen. Seventeen damage. Got it. Second attack. Second attack. Is uh, 24. That hits, roll damage on that one as well. Hey, where'd the grizzly guy go? Grizzly guy's just stepped back a little bit, or like he's like taking one step onto his back foot, not even approaching Grog. Where's the eagles? Uh, uh, the eagles are too far from your sight right now. They and haven't where's quite reached the, the pit? Outside. Uh, the pit is about 10 feet behind the guy who's standing. Actually, I should probably put him there right now. I'd, uh, I'd, also, I'd like to keep an eye for the eagles as well. He's about there. The and where's pit. the chasm? Let me do this. Putting it down, he's putting All it right. down. I'm doing this, I'm drawing it up for you guys. Come on, invent a battle map just like that, man. Come your on. Page, your page, your That's a really good chasm. That is a huge chasm. Either that or, or like, it's hard We're watching his magic in real life. Where's all the dead bodies at the bottom of it? Yeah, can you draw detailed dead bodies? <laughs> a little bit of dead, like, can you, can you just grade it a little bit? So uh, a little bit, yeah. a little bit if you don't mind. There you go. Uh -huh. Do you like to draw or just sketch or doodle? Yeah. <laughs> Where are the twins right now? The twins would be back here, hidden. Hiding. Mike would be probably off to this side here. Way off in the middle of fuck all. Percy's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, keep an eye for the eagles, too. So. Okay. That, that last Everybody attack, keep commenting if you see things. The, the last attack was keep an 18 plus two points of the fire damage for 20. For 20, nice. Second attack. Okay. So that ends your turn. Yep. He's going to go ahead and go for a round of retaliation against you uh, using uh, the action surge that is afforded by it. It's going to make four attacks on you at okay. absolute fury. That is a really, really shitty 16. Misses. Misses. That is a 24. Hits. Whoa. That is 25. Hits. And a 22. That also Wow. So, three hits on you. Well, he's strong. How does he, he get four, four attacks? attacks? It's a is he a action fighter? Surge. Action oh, surge. Oh, action surge? Yeah. Uh, so, oh. this is going to be this is, he's blowing uh, 11 points of slashing damage, reduced to six. Okay. Uh, or five, actually, for you. Five. Okay. Uh, that is. 14 points slashing damage reduced to seven. Okay. And nine reduced to four. Okay. It just hacks into you. <laughs> and looks forward and sees you barely moved by this flurry. Oh, tiny dancer, you are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else jumping out on this? Yeah, can I do a thing? <coughs> I want to stealth and creep over uh, to where Pike is. Okay. You've been uh, stealth, but yeah, you And I would like grass. to hold my action, uh, and if uh, the Goliath's buddy does anything, if he tries to help, if he tries to run, I'm gonna, I'm still hidden, right? Yeah. You yeah, you know, so yeah. I'm gonna fucking throw a knife at him if he does anything. Okay. I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on the, the guy behind. Okay, gotcha. Keep one alive, I wanna know where our two principles are. Okay. Keep one alive. Right. Oh. Hunter's Mark on that fellow there. <laughs> and, and keeping an eye on the hawks. Okay. 
Eagle. Just still heading over there. Uh, Grog, your round of retribution is up. Unless Pike, you want to do anything? Uh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold. I'm okay. Gonna hold. Oh, it's my turn again. Yep. Yeah. Mm. More tattoos for Twiddly Fuck. Suda. Wait. No. I want to bull rush Suda and drive him back towards yes. the pit. Yeah, okay. pit of despair. That is the correct answer. <laughs> yes. I've been a bull rush in a while. Okay, make sure. I forgot that was a proper. Yeah, man, that's that's that's, that's, that's cool. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Don't even think about enough. it. close enough. It might be. I think it's like thirty feet or something. I can move them, or maybe it's twenty. I can't remember. It's a little. It's like eight eight hundred. Less than that, but we'll see. Oh, is it? We'll see. The very least, you've made it interesting. Uh, so shoving a creature, you can shove it. <laughs> 9,700 feet, specifically. Yeah, all of them, all the feet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, maybe it's 15 uh, feet, but he doesn't know numbers, it's so. Strength. <laughs> okay, it's a strength athletics chest contested by his athletics or acrobatics. You push him uh, five feet away from you or prone. Oh, five feet? Oh. Or, prone. or prone. Or prone, prone is good. Prone, and then you can drag, drag him. Could try and yeah. shove him no, in sorry. and you know, grapple here. and try and drag him with you if you want like to. to do that. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna so go ahead and make but an athletic. Athletics, yeah. Athletics, yeah. Okay. That's when I would roll the natural one. That that would be when I do it. That would be when I do it. Brilliant. Of course. Uh, it's because that was a twelve. Okay. And with that, you you bring the hammer back, like you're gonna go ahead and slam into his face and instead reach down and grab him by underneath the ankle and just flip him onto his back. <laughs> As he's there, slammed onto the ground, the hard, kind of packed dirt of the roadway that leads into the western side of Western. Uh, are you going to attempt to go for a grapple then? Yes. Alrighty. Uh, as he is uh, on the ground, uh, I will go ahead and allow advantage on this attempt. So, uh, for your second strike on this, uh, roll another athletics check with an advantage because he is on the ground. Uh, 27. Yeah, no, you got him. <laughs> bye bye. So, so you can drag him uh, at half your movement speed. Okay, so 25 feet. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, Let's yes. Let's count. Okay, so. The D, D, 10, 15, 15, 20, 25. Oh! Kick him, 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 You can let him stand before just, it happens. Just. <laughs> As you're like dragging him through his. The, 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 I don't. <laughs> <my strong side. laughs> the other guy next to him, kind of holding the hand axe, is just watching you drag him up and just like. And unleashes. Oh, uh, fucking uh, asshole. Wait. No. Uh, oh. yeah, 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 go, go, go. I called it. I go was for it. Gone, yep. and I'm hidden. And I advantage and all that shit. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 20, 29. 29. Oh. 29, 29 hits. Nine. Yep. Okay, good one. Oh my god, those are so many! Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, doubled is 56. 56. It's not a bonus action, it's not a reaction though, it's a bonus action. Got it, never mind. 56, and I'd like to use bonus action to hide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make me use your bonus, well, yeah. Okay, yeah. Usually, usually you hit your bonus action, you've already used your turn to hold your action. Okay. In theory. Ooh, whatever so, you want, whatever so you want. I'll say you're not hidden right now, because usually it's, it's, you have to, the bonus action be used on your turn, and the holding your action just kind of is that one thing that keeps over. So, love it. But you got the you got yep. as, as he goes forward, the dagger sh <laughs> foom, sinks right into his sternum, and he kind of <clears throat> and still using his momentum goes forward uh, as you're dragging. It's going to go two strikes against you. Uh, Thirteen Misses. and fifteen. Misses. Just both axes do strike and hit you. But one of them hits the shoulder armor on the back of your, your your shoulder, kind of cracks part of the bone and just streaks off the metal. The other one comes down and it hits you in the back of the belt of dwarven kind. You feel a little sink of pain as it kind of cuts through some of the leather. But even the belt itself deflects most of the attack. I look over and say, "Sit down, son, before you hurt yourself." <laughs> Make an intimidation check. Oh, that's a one. <laughs> Uh, and he rolled a twenty, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you'd have a really oh witty comeback if he didn't have a dagger in his sternum at the moment. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's a little distracted at the moment. All right. So, with that being said, the guy who's in the ground now. I'm like, any guys want to do anything at this point? Um, I'll shoot an arrow Finish at the off, other man. guy standing there. Finish him off. 
Have I, I made it to town yet? Uh, not yet. So I'm in six seconds. It takes it. This is. Wow. Well. Yeah. Twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. Full damage. With uh, hunter's mark. With hunter's mark and sneak attack. Yes, because he does not see you. He's unaware of your presence. God, we're mean. Seventeen. Efficient. Efficient. Twenty-one. Alrighty. That's the first arrow. All right. Oh, that was so close. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, misses. It's okay though. I was just gonna let you roll the second one anyway. <laughs> the twenty-one. The arrow strikes him right through the throat. <laughs> he goes <coughs> and just like grasps for a throat, gurgling, uh, before he falls to his knees and then slumps into the ground, <laughs> head to the side, kind of still clutching at it as he slowly the life spills out of him. <coughs> <laughs> he died as he lived, deeply unimpressed. <laughs> uh, the other guy gets up, though. Uh, and he's going to use his action to try and attempt to break the grapple. Uh, that is going to be a... Come on, Grog. Uh, Come on, Grog. 16. This is... <laughs> you have to, it's just contested with your athletics. Uh, and I throw, I'd roll an athletics check? Yeah. You're all raging, so technically you have advantage on it. I'll take the 18. Uh, athletics, 26. Yeah, he's still grappled. He can't, he can't do anything on that. That's just regular. Regular. Your turn. He's regular. It's my turn? Yeah. Well, I look to him and I'll say, I'll let you fly from here if you answer this question. Is Kebdak or Zanwar in the city? Uh, make a persuasion check. No, this would be intimidation. This is intimidation. What is persuasion? <laughs> this is how Goliath's prom dance. Uh, eight. Eight? So, yeah. yes. Oh. Okay, as you're holding him there, he goes, oh. You'll find out, won't you? I take his neck and I smash my head into his nose. It just breaks and crumbles. His face looks partially cave, and you can see his blood now just running rapidly out of his nostrils. Or where they once were. You won't be there to watch my discovery. Are they in the city? Yeah. And we're waiting for you. Good. I'll let you fly now, and I kick him into the pit. Whee! <laughs> 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 All right. I'll say as you use your movement to push forward, uh, go ahead and make your athletics check. Uh, Eighteen. And with that, <laughs> he <laughs> reaching out, grasps, catches the very edge oh. of the ledge behind him, and the rock just breaks. Ah! In the <laughs> Vanishes screaming into the pit below as you step forward and look over. What little glint of daylight even makes the bottom area, uh, even because it's far out of your range of your dark vision, you just see enough of a <laughs> movement on the bottom <laughs> and then no movement whatsoever. He wildly coyote that guy. Oh, yeah. You're right, Dabby. <laughs> no answer. <laughs> mm. Yay! Yay! All right. And see. You've made it. I'm looking for Scanlan too, by the way. Kind of keeping yeah. an eye out for Scanlan. Perception Scanlin. check. Uh, uh, 23. 23, okay. The second time. Um, as you're glancing through, you see no sign of Scanlan. Um, you do see now that uh, there are small groups of these clan individuals are now pulling out of homes uh, various denizens of Western and pulling them towards the center of town. They're screaming and kicking, you know, or some of them just aren't putting up a fight because they have no way to, and they're just pulling them almost like shields to the center of town. Uh, it seems like they have a ha plan. Have a plan. Uh, Shit. I we don't know that. Call us back. That. Okay. Uh. Heading back. Do I see them? Do I see the group? We've cleared the area more or less, yeah? Uh, I mean, the area where they are, as you glance back, yeah, there doesn't appear to be any current <coughs> uh, set. Whoever was set to go to that side of the gate to check it out has been is not returned. Sure. Can do, can I turn back into a, a, a crow, or do you need, uh, do I need I to have do to, that? I have to cast, just cast it, it again, yeah. But, but it's a new casting, it's not just the same casting. Correct. Okay, good. Correct. Good, good, good. Yeah. I can't drop it in So you start heading back? I head back. Okay, Scanlan. Oh, me? Yes, so, oh, uh, as some time has passed, you guys have, have waited it out. Um, I'm looking for Scanlan on my way back, by yeah. the way. 
Uh, you are currently hunkered down with Kaylee, Dr. Dranzel, and this cluster of nine survivors. You've managed to parry off one incursion of these uh, herd members within the temple. Uh, the barricaded door is still slightly ajar, as closing it would make quite a bit of noise. Mm -hmm. What are you planning to do? I mean, I have to get these people out of out of the city, I, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so um, they know the location of the entrance to the to the sewers, correct? Kaylee said that she knew, yeah. All right. Well, then I'm just going to. Shit. Uh, do I know that the Goliaths were working with orcs at all, or uh, was it just Goliaths? Is it? Is it? Well, no. Uh, from what you've heard from from when uh, when Grog was interrogating uh, the first member of the herd that you guys found on your way south through Western. Um, there was a largely Goliath herd that had been challenged by and, def and then defeated another clan and then absorbed them. And the other clan involved a lot more varying races and specialities. There were half orcs, there were some kind of wild elves that were part of the crew, and a lot of uh, brigand humans. It was very much kind of like just defeated, defeated their, their leader, took in the others because their choice was to either die or join. Mm -hmm. And as such, it has grown to this much more mammoth-sized roving herd. I don't remember the name of that herd or anything, right? No. Nah. Or what they looked like. But they were motley, and they involved half orcs and things. There were there were a couple half orcs. There were a few humans. Or like I think you saw one wild elf, and then mostly Goliaths, based around the center of the Margraves estate. Okay. All right. Uh, well, we're, uh, I I tell the people there's nine people, right? Plus me yeah. and Kaylee and Doctor. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, well, I gather the people around and I say, uh, we're, we're going to be moving through the city rather fast. In case we are spotted, I need to hide you people or make you not a target. So I'm going to disguise you all as a band of irritable half-orcs and grotesque humans and the like using seeming. Uh, and just look ornery and look mean, and if, you, if you're if you approached, just sort of spit and kick the dirt and look pissy, and we'll go. <laughs> Make a performance check. A performance, performance. check. In showing them and oh, guiding them on how I to can, act I, as these. I can demonstrate it for yes. them, yes, with my acting abilities. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm such a good performer. Uh, I'm not even gonna look. Talison, what did I roll? <laughs> um, well, um, you're doing okay. It's okay. You, uh, you with your performance bonus, that's a that's a twenty. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> you take a moment to show like some guttural snarls, teach a few odd you know curse words in Orcish that you learned through your travels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just some vocal warm ups. You know, when you want to get deep. <laughs> Everyone try. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Work on that. They all gather up along with you with Franzel and. Uh, and Kaylee, who looks kind of suspicious at what you're attempting, is like, what, what exactly are you trying to do here? I'm just trying to keep us safe and get these people to the sewers. You know the way out of the city, don't you? I, I can show you. All right. Do you, do, you have, do you have weapons? Can you protect yourself? Are you okay? I can protect myself. Don't worry, Scanlan. <sighs> I'm just worried. I, I, I have to worry about you. I will always be worried about you. I'm sorry. And you'll always be disappointed to find that I can take care of myself. No, I won't be disappointed at all. In fact, that makes me quite happy. Good. Can we be off then? Well, all right. I just, okay, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. Right. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. It's just, <laughs> I never get to see you. And I know we're in a rush here and everything. You can't. Listen. You can't hate away me being your father, all right? I will always be the guy. No matter how much you curse my name and wish I was not part of you, my blood is inside of you, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, people, but you know, I care about you, all right? <laughs> all right. It's not gonna stop me from trying to hate you away, but I get what you're saying. Well, do your trick. Okay. So I cast Seeming on, on the lot, and I make a few orcs and a few humans. <laughs> Any number of creatures within 30 feet of you. Yeah. So all of these Western uh, peasant folk, yourself, uh, Dr. Dranzel, and Kaylee, all of a sudden become 
to varying size degrees. Uh, uh, I can uh, make people a foot a taller. Foot taller, yeah. yeah. So like they can be somewhat you know larger. You're you're still you get you're still tiny little goblinoid half orcs. Sure. But it gives a visual perspective based on what you've seen of this troop, and everyone kind of looks at themselves, looking at the back of their hands. Uh, there's this uh, one kind of younger man in his probably mid-teens. She's like, "This is amazing." <laughs> <laughs> yes, and they also yes. making the noises at each other. Like for a brief moment, all the fear subsides as they're for a moment giving into the play of acting like a half orc, and then they all get serious again and look to you <laughs> and Kaylee. And Kaylee goes, "All right then, follow me." Ooh. She's so good. And slinks <laughs> out the door, looks back and forth for a moment, leans back in. Coast is clear. And she nods. Uh, you see a troop of about. Uh, it would be twelve half orc looking barbarians of varying aggressive stances start pouring out of a broken temple and into the street. I swoop down a little closer. They're heading in the south us. direction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting to see. Zippy Hedron. <laughs> Earth elemental drops yeah. from the sky. <laughs> Super! Kills them all. Okay. Uh, Can I tell them it's Scanlan and crew? No, you have no idea. They're, it's very believable. It's and you just see this believable. roving band of half orcs now that are heading southward to the town in a cluster. Okay. They're like jumping from one alleyway to another and they're heading kind of southwest. Do I, am I like. This is sporadic for a group of orcs, or am I like crazy fucking group of orcs? Make an inside check. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like ah, that one. Ah. I don't like that one. I'm taking it back. Oh, I'm bad. taking it back. Ooh, that was better. That was better. I felt bad. <laughs> she, she bailed on her own. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't trust him. It was in the air. 26. 26. Something wow. is off about this troop, but you're uncertain what it is. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys continue back to move. We're going to continue to move as fast as possible. Gate. You move southward uh, past one sequence of alleys <coughs> to the next street south, and Kelly continues to usher you guys up to the edge of the alleyway. She looks back and forth, uh, nods, and you guys walk into the street again. As you step into the street, a voice goes, Hey! And Kelly stops and goes, and whips around and looks in that direction. You could see a troop of three uh, individuals led by one Goliath, and there is one kind of wild looking elf who has like face paint strewn across the, the front of their expression with this long, almost dreadlocked, uh, light brown hair. And uh, what looks to be an older human with like streaks of black and gray and this long, long beard that's tied off near the stomach, bare chested with like scars across the chest. And they all kind of loom up as the Goliath steps up or pointing out. We need you to the west gate! And he kind of steps up. Who's your watcher? Uh, I step forward and say, He was killed by that gnome! No. Where'd you see it? Right in the center of town. He was a scary, undead gnome. And he's roving about. Kevdak sent us to search for him. The conception check. Not good. Uh. Yeah, but. Uh, 19. Yeah. Oh. 19. It's true, That's so right? ugly. It's true. Central town, eh? Well, then you should probably come with us then. See if we can swarm it. Follow. Uh, uh, if I may, if I may actually, uh, uh, Kevdak said to follow the gnome, and he ran this way. I'm sorry. We have to follow Kevdak's orders. Such a light yeah. Pardon me. Pardon me. Sorry. Please. Please. Sorry. Please. Sorry. Please. Sorry. Sorry. Pardon me. Sorry. Make another deception check with a disadvantage. Oh, no. Come on, baby. Got to get there before they run out of cucumber sandwiches. Come on. Come on. Well, same thing. Nineteen. Yes. All right. We'll send a few oh. more men your way. Oh. Fuck. Stay on that trail. If I see you again, and you ain't got a dead gnome in your hands, I'm gonna cut that head from its shoulders. All right, you have my word. We're gonna do. Yep. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> the strange one. <laughs> and uh, the, the two of them head back. As one of them just kind of keeps a distance behind you guys, following you as you travel. Um, mm. You dart into the next alley, and Kenny's like, "Come on, come on, come on, 
not. And as you guys duck into the shadows, everyone's pace quickens to the center of this alleyway where there is uh, a, a, like what seems like a large stack of partially emptied crates that contain uh, it's like broken pieces of furniture. Uh, it's it's essentially a small dump in the area. It's it, nothing nothing food or you know refuse wise, but there's definitely like a, a this is a, a a graveyard for for broken furniture. Uh, but in the center there is a, a small cylindrical stone protrusion and a grate on top. And Kelly runs up and goes, "Quick, quick! How do we get this open?" Uh, uh, which Doctor? Point, yeah, Doctor Drenzo shows four goes. Let me take care of this. Which is funny because Doctor Drenzo looks just like himself, but just all covered in <laughs> face paint. You can't, you can't see his hat. Uh, it's, it's, he's kind of enjoying this persona for a moment. He goes <laughs> and strains as he pulls upward. Straight, natural twenty. Hey! Does he strain? <laughs> Everyone can beat doors but us. <laughs> <laughs> and don't you forget it. Uh, so, inside? Y- yes, go, go, and go. And they all start climbing in, uh, Dranzel and Kelly helping get the, the peasants down inside first, at which point the uh, the one that was following you guys turns the corner in the alleyway and starts approaching from behind. Uh, this is the, uh, the guy with the long, kind of mm-hmm. black and gray beard. Here, where are you going? That... That gnome again. So one of us saw him go down this sewer. We're following. I'm gonna have to go back and report this. I don't trust. Hold on one second, and I'm gonna cast hold person on him. Okay. Uh, get it, get it, get it, Scanlan, get it. Natural twenty on his saving oh, throw. No! Uh, he, he, as he turns around and stops for a second, looks over his shoulder. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! We go. At which point, Kaylee reaches out with her hand, uh, and let's see if this works or not. Five, eight. So many dice. No. And as he turns around and goes to walk away, he <laughs> falls face first. <laughs> Uh, asleep on the ground on the outside of the alleyway, just poof, halfway in the sun of the main thoroughfare. Kelly runs up real fast and grabs his ankles and drags him. In I go to help. Go, 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 go. I don't know the ways through the sewers. You have to go lead them, not not me. <sighs> she drops the leg there. <laughs> I start Bottom. dragging him. All right, you guys dra- drag him off to the side uh, and you guys quickly go dart in. As you all jump inside, a Dranzel grabs the great top, gets down behind him. But right, right before he closes it, I step out. I, I step out and I say, take them to safety, bring them outside the city, hide, stay safe. All right. Same goes for you, Scanlan. Well, I'll do my best. Yeah, you will. <laughs> and he pulls it down, screws it into place, <coughs> where it feels kind of taut. And you are now on your own outside of this area with a oh, with a sleeping uh, individual. The, his snoring slowly subsides, <gasps> and he starts rousing from his slumber about a minute later, <clears throat> rubbing his chin. What are you doing? Uh, while he was still asleep, I'm just booking it towards the western gate, uh, <laughs> away from him. Self check. Okay. Tw- uh, Eighteen. 18. Okay. Uh, all right, so the rest of you guys, at this point in time, what's your plan? Guys, I'm heading in towards the city. Have, do we have a report yet? I'm, just, I'm getting nervous about scanning. Can I hear him? Go in. Am I back close enough yet? Uh, I'd say by now you've, you've returned uh, in Raven form. Uh, you can hear him over the earpiece. And it's been how long since we've seen him, since he went in? Uh, since Scanlan went in, I'd say it's- Since the bells. Since the bells, it's been about Oh man, uh, ten minutes. We've got to go in. Go in. We should have seen him by now. I come down and I land on Percy's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Not that again. And then I, and then I come. Scanlan fell, fell down a well. <laughs> I, I, I come out of Raven form. Uh, not on my shoulder. On his not shoulder. on his. Thank you. <laughs> well, maybe I kind of like slide. Yeah, sorry, on. sorry, okay. sorry. I what did you see? Come. Report, report. Okay. They are ripping all of the townspeople out of their houses. 
Um, it looks like they have their own counter plan for a situation like this. Um, there was also a band of very strange orcs heading this direction. They were acting strangely. I, I don't trust it. We can either get out ahead of them or try and wait and see if... Were they headed this way? They were headed this way. We should probably move then. Then we should pro- I did not see Scanlan. Let's I head towards everywhere. the center of town. They might it. have him held prisoner. They might have him held prisoner. Why didn't we give him a gate stone? We should always give the gnome a gate stone. Because we're fucking morons. I didn't know he was going to go that far. No, I thought he was going to the gate. Every time, that's the thing, okay? Gate stone <laughs> to the sky. I, I promise when this is over, I will surgically implant it in him. Yeah, we can. Oh. Uh, Scanlan, can you. Scanlan, can you hear us at all? Hello. Anything? We just gotta go in. Yeah. I'm gonna go start. In. I'm Damn gonna it. start making my way on the rooftops towards the center of the, of the town. I'm like, I'm heading in. I'm keeping to the roof. If I'm going to take any shots, I'll try and take them quietly. I fly up quiet, and I, I go guns. along the roof line we with him. That thing that we were working on. I fly up on the broom and then I land on the rooftop and stealth. Okay. Across the rooftop. It's at this point in time you see Probably the two so. giant eagles, the oh, one that took Keyleth off earlier. As you come up on your broom, it kind of sees you. <laughs> oh, I've been watching those things. Right. As you're having this discussion, oh. they notice her float up and kind of see you guys begin moving in towards the city. Uh, one of them just turns around and heads back to the center ah, of the town. The other one's taking a cheap shot at you. Whoops. Towards you, uh, roll initiative. Is everybody who's going to have anything to do with this right oh, now? Oh, I'm getting in on this shit too. Yeah. All right. How far away from our group? 24. Uh, they're probably a good way up high in the sky at this point. Or are we trying we're looking to about get 100 this... to 150 feet up comparatively? Are we trying to get this eagle? Is that what we're trying yeah. to Yeah, he's trying to kill me. 19. Yeah, can I get in on that as well? Yeah, roll well, initiative. All right, so. Yeah. 24. 20, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. And 19? 19. 18. All right. <gasps> nice! Yeah, man. <coughs> Sorry, what'd you get? 18. 18? All right, so we have Prince. Seven Ray blesses you. Seventeen. <laughs> Twelve for Keila. Alright. 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 Uh Vex. Fly high up as the, as the eagle swoops in, you have uh, a brief moment where it's coming at you. You can go ahead and make your shots at it. Uh whatever you want to do this round. What do you want to do? How if I if I land on the ground and shoot at it? Will it be within range? At the speed it's going, you're not going to be able to get back to the ground this round unless you spend your whole round getting there. Then I shoot at it from the air. Okay, so two shots at the disadvantage. Uh, mm-hmm. 25 on the first. Yeah. 25 on the first, alrighty, that uh-huh. hits. Okay. 17 on the first hit. 17 damage? Yes. Alrighty. And 24 on the second Dang, hit. Girl, that hits, good roll damage. Uh, 13 on the second hit. Okay, as you, this is with the disadvantage, right? Yeah. As you release the first arrow, wings are up, giant sharp beak extended, its claws in the air, the air sinks into its body, but it still kind of just shakes it off, continuing going into a further dive towards you, its wings outward. Oh, We're back with the second arrow. The second arrow strikes it in the side of the face, kind of scrapes across and embeds in part of its wing shoulder, oh. at which point its form goes Shoop! into what you see to be a, a female elven form <gasps> that then just drops straight down for into the 100 pit. feet. Yo. Into the pit? Uh, no, this is more inside Damn. of the city But right she was now. 250 feet up. Uh, not 200 feet, about 100 feet up. Uh, that still sounds pretty bad. It's still, still really bad. It's a, <laughs> I don't want to drop from 100. It's like softball, no, right? I'm just waiting. Between that, <laughs> you guys watch as she just goes <laughs> 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 Like there's the, there, there's a little, it was is that, is that, oh un, no. is that other one still a booking? Elf puddle? She flew off. The other one's still is, booking. Is she no. out of out of bad news range? Uh, no, still within bad news range. <gasps> with like take a couple shot. shots. Do it, Percy! I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna. Not only am I gonna take a shot, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a wing shot. Keyleth runs okay. towards the girl who fell. Good job, okay. good job, thanks. Uh, all right. So you start heading in that direction. Yeah. Taking yeah, two shots. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do a ring shot. Let's see what happens. If you miss, you okay. move. Uh, oh yeah, that's a. 28. 28 hits. Uh, this is gonna suck for her. Here we go. Really loud, loud echoing blasts we out of bad news anyway. echoing they, through the city. They are, they're already gathering people in the center of town. A little late now. We killed a bunch of them. Oh god, that's awful. Yeah, uh, that's pretty bad. Uh, 13 points of piercing damage. Okay. And she also has to make a strength saving throw. Uh, that is gonna be a... 19. 
Uh, yeah, not gonna make, not gonna beat that. Twelve. Um, I think she. It says she's knocked uh, or get knocked prone. So I don't know what you want to call that for something flying, but uh, that's she's falling now. <gasps> yeah. Yep. And so she's falling. You you hit her. One of the wings. <laughs> And she begins plummeting downward, not able to gather air at the moment underneath the wings. Uh, you're taking your second shot? Uh, sure, I'll just take. And for this one, I'm going to be an asshole and take a, um, a sharpshooter shot. Okay. I'll use the big die. Go for it. I'm going to trade up. Uh, that's. Uh... I'll say, before you calculate, I'll say this has disadvantage because it went from flying at a smooth pace to plummeting, and you have to quickly. I had to, I had to reload in the middle, so like, yeah, I'm, yeah. Just, I'm skeet shooting here. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna miss. That's negative five to hit, so that's uh, that's twelve. Twelve just hits. Oh. Giant eagle AC is not that great, man. That's so sad. Oh god, I feel bad that? now. Twelve. Yeah. Really Giant eagle doesn't have a crazy AC. That, oh no. man, I, I really it's I more of a travel form. It's not meant now. for for fighting. You know, main fighting. The, the one that was going for you was just because you were the one that was nearest to it. It wow, wasn't wow, expecting wow. a hail of arrows in its face. Twenty nine points of damage. And with that, you see it fall as an eagle and then into a person that continue to fall. I got a grip point back. And disappear behind the uh, the skyline of the buildings of Westruin that block your view of the center of town. Well, they don't know who's coming, at least. Are we close enough to loot that first body? Uh, sure, you guys. Well, I was headed that way. Headed that way. You guys then. I'm move, staying on the roofs. Yeah, moving around the chasm that you created, you head inside the western gate of Westruin at this point. Uh, Hang on, wait, well, oh, I'm headed to the body still, it's inside yeah. the gate? Yeah, yeah it, it, it fell inside the gate of the city. Uh, you approach, and it's it's a rough scene. Uh, fell on like the head and the shoulder, and it, the rest of the body is kind of Ew. accordioned in. Um, uh, like the body doesn't appear to be any druid related to the Ashari clan? Uh, uh, looking it over, make an investigation check. Figure out which end is out first. Oh, that's a oh, really good, good check. Good. My investigation's not great. It's your dad! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 20. 20. Uh, you take a quick glance over, checking where any um, ceremonial markings of the Ashari are. Uh, none. This individual appears to be more of a primal-based uh, druidic talent. Uh, there are tattoos, pretty basic, uh, various animal totems that are inscribed on the body. Uh, you, you're familiar with this form of druidic magic. It's It's a... It's a less refined version of what the Ashari people learn and teach. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, no, this, there, there's no inclination this is a member of the Ashari. Okay. Uh, is there anything good on her? Uh, there is a, a a soaked set of hide, or not hide, of, of leather armor. <laughs> um, soaked in what? Not, non-magical for what you can like gather. Totally magical because uh, of pee. 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 Yeah. Vodka, maybe. <laughs> Uh, and what looks to be a shattered quarter staff that may have been <laughs> landed on. Uh, oh. Beyond that, you're gonna, you're gonna have to get sifting through the remains. Are not gonna it's not gonna be a fun experience for what little you may gather. Are you gonna start down. harvesting? I'll let it go. Uh, I'll let it go. Start <laughs> harvesting. Oh. She made her choice. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start rooftoping yeah. towards the center. If I see anything interesting going on in the city, I want to stop and investigate. Ditto. Leaping from rooftop to rooftop. If I can, can I do a bit of can I I'm do a little gonna parkour? Do that. I want to do a little for parkour. Sure. Can I can I use acrobatics? Uh, you. This is more of a, this is acrobatics. It's more of a jump because there are large. Large city street can gaps I, that are I, like twenty five to thirty. Parkour, but if I parkour like, it, I can find. I want to be able to. Can parkour, I, parkour, parkour. I want to try and be smart about it and find any way I can make right. it to stay a little. Make make an acrobatics check. An acrobatics check. Thank you. Amateur Spider Man. Can I join him? I was yeah. gonna join him. <laughs> you, up there. You, you, do, do you want us to get off your broom and do that? That was the thing. Yeah, I was gonna fly up on the broom, land on the roofs, and then stealth gotcha. across the roof. Okay. The roof. So yeah. So so you go ahead and you get up with him, and you can go. You two of you can start like right. pouring off the rooftop. Look, oh, it's a mechanical engineer on the roof. Oh. <laughs> Twenty. Uh, Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Twenty. Ah! You guys make it a couple of streets before you reach a point where this block does, because because the main street intersects with another main street that goes southward, and the gap is about thirty feet to jump across, and you know from experience that you couldn't do that with a name a regular jump. I've got an idea. If you get on the broom, I'll just hold on. You can plant me down if we see anything. Just keep low and by the by the roof. Can't you just sit on the broom with me? What is going on? Are, are Grog and Pike right. and I supposed to just stand out by the gate? Are you guys going to head off? Have a plan. I thought we were going in. We're heading into the city because of this. I thought we were going in. I mean, we had a plan and then we didn't have a plan. We so should go have into like a seven go different in? directions. You look up as you see suddenly glance overhead a shadow from one rooftop to another. Make a make a perception check. 
18. It's Batman. 18. You glance up and you see the dangling, kicking feet of Percy uh, <laughs> <laughs> underneath a broom that just whoosh, across the top of the fence. All right. <laughs> Uh, I guess they're I still, there was room on they're the They're traveling, yes? Yeah, they're traveling back inward to the city. All right, well, that's good. Uh, I can't. Pro- I probably can't catch up with that. I'm just going to keep poking. Wait, but the keep, ear keep ear Oh, wait, I can hear it. I can do it, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, thank you. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, uh, hey, oi, oi, guys, oi, oi. It's getting us Oi, oi. Put me down, put me down. How's it, did my plan down. work? I don't know, did your plan work? What was your plan? My plan was to send all the Goliaths, all of them out through the main gate. Did they all come through the main gate? No, no. no. there was only Definitely six, not. it worked. Oh, uh, okay. Scanlan, it appears they are doubling down in the center of the town. Do you have any idea on why they would be doing this? Well, I don't know, they're very perceptive. <laughs> I I may have alerted all of them to our presence, oh, but fantastic. it um, was a distraction. Sure. And in a sense, that was my mission. A distraction so. from what? You know what? We killed nine of them. A distraction nine from them? their we terrible, terrible them. lives. Good job, Scanlan. Mission yeah. accomplished. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Whoa. Scanlan, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, oh. Thanks. Is that Pike? Yeah. Oh, hi, Pike. Hi. Yeah. Oh, uh, how's it going out there? Oh, it's good, it's good. Can we do this? Yeah, let's not it's use the Okay, okay, okay. Should what should, should I do? Good. Where should I go? Where, who should I kill? Stay um, put and let us come to you. What, what do you see around you? Yeah, where um, are you? Idiots on broomsticks flying oh, around. Shit. Oh, shit, that's us. Down. Let's down. All right, <laughs> down. can we all convene in an alley? You, you do, you convene in an alley um, <laughs> within the next couple minutes. A little bit of a confusing telephone bit going back and forth, but you do eventually gather. Um, uh, as at this time, you guys do hear what sounds like some voices shouting uh, about a block and a half up the way. What's there are, are, there buildings? are we all together now? Yeah. 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 Okay. They're, they're buildings uh, by the way, hi, hi. Place, so. This is me oh my now. God, you don't even look like yourself. I look pretty cool. So good to see you. We should get inside for a moment. Yes. We should. Okay. Is there like a uh, like a wine cellar or a door or something? Are there windows? Feed in? Is there, a window? Window? Uh, there are windows. You don't see a wine cellar in the immediate vicinity of this alley. We jump in the window. I'm going to get it open quietly. I'm not going to break anything. Can I look in the window first? Yeah. You go ahead and glance and make a perception check. I see nothing here. It's a two. It is it's very dark. There's no light inside. And, uh, what about nothing. our dark vision? Can we yeah. see anything in the room? <laughs> no. Yeah. Even with your dark vision, and you guys see as well, there's nothing inside. The, okay. the building appears to be vacant. Is it, is it locked? Uh, the, the window is locked. Uh, very minor lock. Well, I just rolled a natural 20, so it's. You wasted it on Well, That was the most deft unlocking you've ever done. I hit it like Fonzie's dog. Yeah. Window is no problem. Great. You guys all crawl inside of the room and. Uh, looking inside, you do notice that the uh, some of the furniture is kind of tipped over. Um, the front door, actually, that leads out to the main road, uh, the, the south-facing uh, road, the knob is broken off. Like someone just kicked the door in. Um, it looks like there was signs of a minor struggle, but there's no bloodshed from what you can see. Most of, if any, belongings that had any value been taken. The place looks stripped of anything metallic. Um, it. Looks like it's been pretty heavily ransacked inside here. All right, Grog. Yeah. They were dragging everyone out of every available door and dragging them to the city, the center of the city. O- why? Oh, uh, people shields, meat shields. Meat shields. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, like, we go to them, and if we get too close, they slit all their throats. It's like basic Goliath logic. I Lovely. See. So, is maybe the one-on-one? Combat our only option at the moment. Do we have any other option? How many were there? To- we don't know how many. Probably were there. thirty to forty now. Okay. Probably down to twenty or thirty. Well, well there's thirty or forty to start, and we killed nine of them. Remember, he said we were down to like fifty. We killed like nine. Oh, so forty. Two, two. So two left. Users. Six left, Grog. Then six. Yeah, it's like a thousand. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. All right. I've got a plan. What, okay. I go to the center of town. Yeah. Okay. I create a distraction. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. That's pretty much all my plans are always. What time is it? Uh, right now, you're pushing into early afternoon. It's probably, I'd say, the equivalent of about 1, 1.30. I know. Perfect. Last question I have. Do we know where Will Hand's residence used to be? 
You do. You, you would know very well outside because you spent a lot of your time. Outside or inside? Oh, uh, it's inside the town, but it's it's a little bit northwest of the Plus. center area. So it's 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 closer to where a lot of the the, the temples and and the worship areas are. Uh, and there is a, a small park there that was across the way. It may be um, something useful. It's, it's, the, it's a red brick building. It, it stands oh. out against a lot of it because it's, it, it was built specifically to kind of be this small gnomish hovel that was. Uh, built by his own hands. So when, when attacking, right, once you've given up your position, it loses its worth. So my suggestion would be we move to approach from another vantage point, or we can just kick this thing off and I walk in. I'm fine either way. All right, well, are we nearby a sewer system? Scanlan, do you know? Oh, I happen to know exactly where a sewer system is. We can try and, and sewer across the town. Or we can just walk right in. Where are we trying to get? To well, the center of town. We, yes. we thought about seeing if maybe we could get to Wilhand's house. Oh. And where is, is that, that, and why would we be there? Well, that's Pike's oh. grandfather. Sure, I know, but does that provide us some strategic advantage? Well, no, but we might be able to see if he's all right. They've oh. probably dragged him to the center of town by now. We How can, can we get through see. this? Go ahead, Pike. We could go to the center of town and check to see if he's there. And sure. maybe take care of business. And then hopefully he's not there and I mean he could provide a lot of help. He's so maybe we go to his house first. Yeah, it's your if grandfather. We go, to, we go to the center of town. It's all going down. Yes, yeah. How do we get out of this with the most with the or sorry, with the the least civilian casualties crowd? What's Not really thinking that far ahead. Sure. Where's there was? We were supposed to also pick something up. Yes, for that a two-story. We'll do that after. Well, here's well the wait. Thing. The the thing might help us. Who knows? It's it was a, a red brick two-story home near the fountain. Dark wood. Wait. Near the fountain crossroads. What? Wait, do, you, do you know this house? There for that. Doesn't that sound like the cup? The. House, the it's Wilhelm's house. Well, Wilhelm's house on, on the, the uh, in, in the Temple District stands out because it's this small little like red brick area. The one that he's talking about is more of a classic kind of dark wood with red brick outside. Like the way he described it was, it's very colonial style, but like with a, a brick base built around it. Is that not the leader of the uh, the guy that yeah. runs the restaurant? The, that was uh, Master Quall's house. Master Quall. Yeah, Man, Master Quall is just the master. He's 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 his own little that's not that independent. House. No, the Margraves' house is the one that's in the town square, and that's Margrave. where Kevdak apparently has taken as his homestead. Right, and that's not the description of that. So we yeah. either we either start this now or we or we prepare there are pluses and minuses to both thoughts. Well, they, they, they have a bunch of innocent people yeah, who he, they may just start killing. killing. Here's my question, if we wait, will they ever theoretically let them go or is it easier to just <laughs> slit throats? No. Then we shouldn't wait. We should, shouldn't wait. We then. shouldn't wait. Then we just do it. Those of us with distance, we make we find positions around the square. We stealth around. But the second yeah. we start attacking, they will start killing. So. He, if he, he walks, walks in, in on his own, challenges well. Kevdak to a duel. <clears throat> yeah, look. So on it, your own. So it'll go like this. Everybody get high vantage points. I walk in. I'm pretty sure if I call him out, they'll step aside and we'll do this thing. If it starts going poorly, I leave it to your discretion. Or if other people start getting iffy with the civilians, we can start taking shots. I know I can drop a few before they do anything. I've burned both of my uh, wild shaping ability for right now, unless we wanted to take a, a brief rest to regain our thoughts. It is sort of a brief rest. Is this considered right like a yeah. short rest? No, a short rest is like a half an hour or an hour of like, Intentional. We could afford. We could take that. I'll tell you. Think it's the middle. It's the, no, it's the middle of the day. They won't do it for no reason. Yeah. They don't yeah, even know where we are. Yeah, thirty minutes is nothing in a hostage situation. Take a short right. rest if you want. Let's to. take a short rest and we'll finish fleshing out this plan. Okay. Does anyone else need to heal up? I'm good. Yeah. I'm gonna burn a hit dice. I am too. Yeah, I can. I can. Yeah, but I don't want you to waste save any spells. Yeah, save I it. can use a hit day. Yeah, we, we yeah. Well, Margrave House, when they were flying over oh, in really? this form, there was something that looked like it was red and smeared on the outside of the walls. Is that yeah. the Margrave House? Yeah. Are we close to the edge of town? I get 12. Mm, about like a five to six minute walk. It's not, or like brusque jog, I guess I should say. It's close, but not like right outside. 
So, yeah. That, that what I would say was my plan. If you feel like walking in, we, we, oh, really? yeah. we can point guard you from, from a distance and make yeah. sure if anyone tries to attack, yeah. we take them out. Spread out. Well, we should try and, and probably have a few people on civilian duty as well, kind of like we did before. Yes. Um, that would be perfect if you're willing to. Now, that's. That, that can't. You don't still have that, uh, the house that you can summon, do you? Of course I do. Can we put that door somewhere and start sending people if we liberate them to it? Of course we can. However, it would have to be somewhere close to where <coughs> the hostages are. They would definitely see their hostages jumping into a ma magical hole. We could put your magical hole inside of a building and send people into the building so that it's got like double cover. And if anyone finds your magical hole, they can jump in it? Or do they have to have permission? By the way, so many jokes. So many jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Resisting. You're being very good. <laughs> very firm on this one. What happens if you lure Goliath and Orc into the magical hole? Mm -hmm. Could they get stuck in there? I, I imagine they'll have a lovely chicken dinner. Yeah, because after 24 hours, they, they can get leave. pooped out. They but can leave when they, they want. They can come they can leave and leave as they please. Yeah. So yeah. it's not like a Roche Motel. No. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not like a Vex can song. capture one of them in here. I can. Pokeball. <sighs> It's good to know. Yeah. Um, okay. How f if we know the city this well, how far would you say is Wilhand's place from where we are now? I'd say it's about... A mile and a half? Yeah, it's about a, about a 20, 25 minute walk north from where you are right now. Uh, it's a little ways, uh, a little ways west of Noja's old store. And uh, wow, yeah, it's, it's about, about 20, 25 minutes north. Would you like to go first to see if he's there? I'm just, I, it's choosing between the people in town or, or. You don't have to. Well, you can send a couple of us to go check I, in. I grab the stone. Go check. Wait. Walk back. I'm sorry, but we need Pike with us. She can go check and she can be back in 60 <laughs> seconds. She has to get there. She's He's the worst at stealth. That's very fair. But we can send someone and have them right back. That, I mean, it's not. What we if she, what if, what if we go there and we find him and then what, you can pop back, but he't alone? You can't pop two people back with a stone. Yeah, but he's at least also, safe. I can pop us back. No. We can send him back and then I can get back on my own. You don't know where you're going. Pike, can you tell me how to get there? Yes. I've walked city streets that I've never been in before. We can start getting into our positions, and then when you're done, you can join one of us. Well, here's what, what, well. what's going to be the benefit of finding him before the fight as opposed to after? That's fair. Well, unless they're holding him. Unless, unless they're, they're holding him. But they wouldn't be holding him because they be... don't expect us, they don't know it's us that's Well, coming. then he's either safe in his house or he's in the middle of the town square, she either of which. Point. I'm good either way. We're okay. Also, We're okay. if we cut off the head of the snake, there's no issue. It doesn't matter. Issue. Let's do it. Let's go towards and the center He is a very town. powerful cleric if we do find him. So it'd be nice to have some extra help. He may already be there. And if he's... I, I feel like we should go to town because that's a lot more people than one person. Is, is his house near where we're going or no? No, it's... Uh, it's in a wide arc, so you have to go up and over to get to the center of town. <clears throat> The center of town's like, like right center, it's kind of like north center. Um, I mean, I, I could like miss there, and I, I can do something to get there faster. Yeah, we're gonna need we don't need to. We need your spells. Yeah, don't waste yeah. your spells before you find something Look, huge. let's just face this, wish each other good luck, and we meet in the middle. Are we going to flank the entire city center? We're going to make, there's, it's a town square, if I recall. There's like, there's like a, they've, they've got a barricade. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. They've got a section of the city of the of the town barricaded off. Well, it's not so much a barricade more than they have short little barricades built in for like anti-cavalry and for any large like siege attempts or. So we can slowly we can nasty. we can start to surround it. We can be selfie and singular. We can keep in contact. I can use Earth Elemental to glide and literally pop out right in the center of the town mm. and avoid everything. But you don't want them you can to walk see right you. In. I would be underground. Okay. Yeah, no, I just plan to walk right in. And Grog, when you fight this person, if 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 he agrees to this one-on-one -on -one combat, is it going to be fists or swords? 
I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Grog, I guess my one concern is what's stopping them from slitting all of these people's throats at any drop of a second? A warrior's honor. A warrior's honor? That's weirdly little good enough for me. And you think you can evoke that? I guarantee it. Men's warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> just Sponsor of the enough for it to work. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna like the way you look. Nice to see you. Bye, Mendel. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> I leave it up to your artistic influences on where you go from here. Don't be afraid to call your friends if you need help. If I'm Earth Elemental, I won't be able to speak, so I'll be relying on you. You'll be hearing okay. okay. I'll be hearing. I'm guys? gonna go. I'm gonna stay with Grog. Okay. Are you guys beelining it like straight through? No, well, are well, you going? Say, are I you could... arcing past like Noja's place? Are you going by yeah. the Cobalt Reserve? What's your plan? Are we going for the element of surprise? Would it be better for me to Earth Elemental and bust out in the middle, or would it be better for me to flank with the rest of you? It's going to go south if if Kevdak sees any of us pop out of the windows. So I think that Grog's right. He needs to go in alone. We need to be hidden. Stay back we need and to flank hide. and Stay be back, completely be stealthy. Hidden. Okay. And if shit goes south, then we go in. Okay. Is there anything we can give Grog to help him? Can't you bless him or something? I, yeah. do, have a, I do have a question. Yeah? I can enhance his ability. Mm -hmm. Nah, never mind. Are you attuned out, baby? What were you going to say? Yeah, I was going to see if I should switch out the Gauntlets of Ogre Strength for these braces of defense that give a plus two to my AC, but if I wear that, then it takes out my natural no armor. What about, yeah, no. what about? No, because it's not considered armor. I'm not actually wearing armor. It's designed for somebody who does not, so. Grog. That's good. Grog, what if I lend you my boots? Which, when you click the heels together, will also help your armor out a bit or help your chances of being hit. It helps me attack faster. You give them back to me tomorrow. I can give you enhanced constitution. No, no. I've learned that my strength is with my friends, and my friends have their own strengths to each their own. Don't want you all handicapping yourselves for me. I would like to change out the braces of defense to get a plus two to my AC for the gauntlets of over strength. Okay. So your strength is in a 17, you take the my plus two to your AC armor. AC goes class. to 21. Correct. Because it goes to 17, my modifier is plus three. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like some extra strength for your? <gasps> yes. Uh, remember, Grog, that mine and Scanlan's strengths are in helping the rest of our friends and our, our fellow allies. So we can grant you enhanced abilities. Do you have to do it now? I would much rather you just did it on your own and maybe not tell me about it. Well, I could do it ahead of time just and just, hold just, him just for give a while. him a big hug right now. Ixnay on the elf face. Just hug him. Kiki. Oh, just uh, hug him. I push her towards him. Give him a hug for good luck. Grog. What? Oh shit! What is this? Grog. <laughs> we believe in you. Yep. <clears throat> and I can't. I cast enhanced ability. <laughs> and I give him enhanced. Strength checks, or I could give him like. Mm. I'm gonna give him bears, uh, bears endurance, which gives him advantage on Constitution checks, and ga he gains an additional two d6 temporary hit points. Okay. Good roll, two d6. Me. Yep. Big money, no whammies. That's huh. not great. That's six. Okay. You have six temporary hit points, and you have six. advantage on Constitution checks. Perfect okay, average. advantage on. Constitution. Not saving throws. Constitution checks. Checks, okay. There are no skills that are constitution based, really. Um, Would it have been better to do strength? When he rages, he gets advantage on strength anyway. Yeah. Oh, he get, already gets advantage on strength. That's okay. Okay. good. Okay. It'll be okay. But, you know, if it comes up. Well, now that you we're done know. being all touchy feely, whatever the hell that was. Uh, well, wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, Jesus. Sorry, sorry. It's just, uh, I found this, this old joke book. I thought you might want to hear this joke. And I pull out my <laughs> bull strength stro scroll. Oh, thank God. And I'm going to read him the bull strength <laughs> scroll. 
Can I affect him with the plus five strength? Well, the it, the bull strength as as a uh, as an ability just gives him advantage on strength. strength. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he, oh, I thought it was a plus five to strength. No, you must have pulled those stats out of the old Pathfinder game. Oh, I have had this for a long time. <laughs> well, then in that case, I'll just I'll sing you a rousing song to put you on your way. Okay. <clears throat> and I, I... The stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the beard of Strong Jaw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Take your D10. Okay. I'm going to cast Aid. Hey, at what level? At, I'm going to do fourth level. Okay. And I'm going to cast it. I can cast it on three. Three people for three plus people. 15. For plus 15 hit points. What else do you choose? So I will choose. Vex. <laughs> Scanlon, how many hit points are you? How many hit points do you guys use? Ninety-six. Oh, I'm okay. okay. One of one of these two. Never worry about Does me. Does it stack with Scanlon? Scanlon goes unconscious a lot. Never, no, you can't do never, it never times, worry so about can't me. Can't do it multiple times. Scanlon. Yes, my love. I'd like to aid you as well. I really, I don't need, I don't need any help. I'm fine. Just shut up and take, take it, it, Scanlon. Is there some sort of, late. Too late. You're doing is there it. some sort of ritual that we need to do together to make this happen? It just happens so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that it's over. As, as she says that, there's a blast of warm light across your chest that fades as she has already turned around. Um, however, Vex, Grog, and Skin, and you guys, your maximum hit points are increased by 15. Ooh, that. Uh, and you get you get those 15 extra hit points for the next eight hours. Nice. Not concentration. Um, wow. Anything awesome. else you want to cast? Uh, no. No? Okay. I, um, I tap Grog on the shoulder and I flash him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> soldier. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Don't you wait. dare die happy. Wait, didn't we just talk about this? What? Give him the fucking rock. The rock that he can bounce out of there it with. It takes a minute. So, it's something. A minute's a long time. All right, forget it. <laughs> uh, I'll reach into my bag of holding and uh, I'll pull out my trusty um, salt lick rock and I kneel down to Poe. I say, hey, hold this for me, all right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just keep it safe. I don't like getting blood on it. But listen, I can't lose you twice in one day, okay? Oh no, I'm not going anywhere. We're just going to meet some really bad folks and we're going to set them straight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go get them, okay? <laughs> that was the cutest thing. And I'll, I'll walk out. Oh God! Uh, Are you guys following behind or is letting him do his thing? We st we stealth we stealth. Like we we watch him leave. Okay. I cast pass without a trace on all. And of then us. we stealth. Hey. Any other, any other last minute things you're gonna help Grog with before we're done? We good. Okay. Everyone's good. He's pretty stacked. Okay. Ish. But we can stay close can to him though, right? I like that we managed yeah. to make like solving problems with violence into an ABC afternoon special. It's really <laughs> kind of yeah. Uh, it's remarkable. Uh, okay. I cast Pass Letter Trace on us so we can stealth. All right, so the rest of you go ahead and make your stealth check. <laughs> Which direction are you traveling, Grog, by the way? I guess just towards the heart of town. So just be lining it straight to the center? Not stealthing. Okay. All righty, so. <clears throat> stealth? 14. Oh my With god. The sound. What's that? Plus the plus 10. Oh. Then 24. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 29. 39. 33. 34. 21. All right. <coughs> Grog is not going stealthy, or are you just walking through? Just walking through. All right. As you guys follow suit, dodging from alley to alley, Grog, you step into the main roadway. Okay. You're on the rooftop? You and Percy? Percy, are you going to the rooftop? All right, both of you guys will ask products checks. We'll just take as a continuation of this. Natural one? <laughs> no, that was a seven. Was it? Yeah. No, I think it was a one. <laughs> I think it was nice a try. thing was so. <laughs> it might have been a seven, but I thought it was a one. So. Well, regardless, you guys get but 30 feet before. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> Max, you suffer eight points of damage as you plummet off one of the, on. one of the second story buildings and I land. I have a broom to get up to the top, you know. I know, and and unfortunately, your foot found one of those loose shingles, and you lost grip of the or your, your grip of the night. broom. Tumbled, landed, <laughs> at which your broom then <laughs> about two feet from you on the ground. I caught it. I didn't want. You are the shadow that stalks the guilty. <laughs> uh, so you kind of look over your shoulder for a second. <laughs> Keep marching forward. Um, you was the best you get about four <laughs> blocks before you see a group of four individuals, no Goliaths among them. Uh, it appears to be two humans, one male and female, uh, uh, and one elf and one halfling. Uh, they're all uh, smeared in, in, in muddy streaks across the face. Uh, the, the halfling has the head completely shaved off and has these two kind of lined scars over the top of the, of the face to the back of the head. Um, they all turn the corner and look over at you, take a moment to kind of look for any sort of recognition, look at each other, and begin to walk forward, drawing their weapons. Not even in oh, lads, lads, no need for that. Traveled quite a long way. See, I'm part of a ranging party for Kevdak. It's very important that I see him. You see, we're family. Now you can either take me to him, or I can drag you to him. <laughs> the elf has kind of stepped forward and pushed the others away, uh, draws these two thin short swords from the sides, look kind of jagged and chipped like they've seen quite a few battles, leans forward and kind of puts one eye on you, leaning at the side as he approaches. Kevdak, you say? Family, you say? I've not seen your face in all the travels we've had with the herd. But you say family. Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> make a persuasion check. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the others behind draw their weapons. One of them pulls out this like long, nasty, double-headed <laughs> great axe and kind of lets it down to the side and begins to step forward. Uh, the halfling draws this gnarled, spike-tipped whip that kind of like cracks it on the ground. And begins stepping forward. Uh, the, the female uh, to the left of the elf uh, goes ahead and draws this long, thin rapier that almost comes like a curve to it and begins to point it forward as the elf takes the two blades and puts it out and stops the rest of them and goes, All right, family of Kevdak. If you're lying, it'd be fun to watch you scream as he tears the head from you. Walk to the front. <laughs> Lead the way. Walk to the front. And I walk past them to the front. All right, the four of them flank behind you, blades still drawn, and just slowly walk about 10 feet to your Can back. I ask you, <clears throat> as I was approaching this city, I saw a dragon fly over. Picked up one that looked just like me and flew away. What's it like being the bitch of a dragon? <laughs> There's long pauses, you keep walking, and eventually the same elven voice pipes up and goes, well, I imagine the gnashing teeth of such a beast would be comparably painful as the gnashing tips of these blades if you don't shut your mouth, Goliath scum. Hmm. You'll be feeling the tips of those before I feel the tips of any teeth of dragons. <laughs> oh, there's many a teeth waiting for you where you walk, friend. Keep going. Your insolence amuses me. As you guys are kind of keeping back, I need everyone to make another stealth check. Yeah. That guy tortures, uh, tortures small animals, by the way. <laughs> still alive. I'm still alive. Still alive. Natural 20. Oh, mm. uh, 21. 24. Hmm? 39. 12 plus 10? Yeah. Ooh, that's our girl! 37. <laughs> All right. As you guys are stalking behind, uh, there's a moment where you all duck into one of the alleyways, and as 
pike spins into the alley, the edge of her shoulder armor, being wider than her actual form, catches the edge of the building, causing this large <laughs> sound, the sound of a bending metal clinging against itself, at which point uh, the, uh, the troop behind the grog immediately spin around. Did you hear that? Is anyone following us? And as, as you've kind of kept walking forward, you feel the point of a blade just kind of gently press into your lower back. Good lord, you're awful jumpy. You see, when I was last with this herd, the mates that I ran around with weren't so quick to jump and hide behind their mother's skirts. Keep your attention focused on me, son. We've got important dealings to meet with. Keep walking. The blade pulls back. As you continue to step forward, you hear a little whisper behind you, and you kind of glance over and look as the halfling and the uh, the female with the kind of hooked rapier both break off and begin heading back towards the alleyway. Perfect. No problem. So as you guys continue to step forward, you guys have now ducked in the alley, kind of pulled off into the shadow. Uh, listening, you hear very, very light footsteps beginning to find their way in your direction. Can we wait until they come around the corner? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to continue with following Grog. Just that. Are we going to wait and I'm jump them, anyway. or do you want me to stop all them? Split, right? You guys are all. The, have you guys divided into two different groups? No, we're all together. Well, you're on a roof. You're on. No, a roof. I'm not on a roof. I fell you're off on. the roof. Yeah, I'm on a roof. Yeah, Percy's up. On I'm going to. I'm letting them know what's. I'm. I've been. I. I didn't want to interrupt that because yeah. it was fabulous, but I, I've been trying to like keep everybody informed of what I've been seeing, and just yeah. like two are splitting off, they're heading towards there, I'm going to continue with Grog. I think so. we should lie in wait until they come around the corner, and then you can. I'll count them down when they turn around. Okay. okay. I'll wait to shoot an arrow until they come around the corner. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two of, uh, two of them? Two of them. Two of them yes. taking a turn, and, and okay. I've described them. Yeah. I uh, prep three. a hold person spell, two. ready for when they turn the corner. One. All right. Now, at this point, you now see the halfling kind of darts around, uh, kind of whip out on the side as the elf turns around the corner, rapier at the bend with her hand in front of her. What are you guys doing? I want to grab the elf and slit her throat. I'm <laughs> shooting at the halfling. Two arrows at the halfling. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for, you said you're taking the elf? Yeah. I'm going to go for the elf and cast hold person. Okay. Uh, we'll say for the sake of you two, since you're at the same target, we're both roll initiative. 14. 14. Okay. You, go ahead and make your attack first. Okay. Uh, it is a surprise round. We did not expect to see you there. You dart out of the side of the shadows. They're facing downward into the alley. Advantage, okay. Uh, I'm going to use luck, my last luck of the day. Okay. Uh, oh, this attack, uh, 16. 16, that, uh, yeah, the hurdle that would be no, just. No, that's attack, that's a 21, 21, you? thanks, I was okay. nervous. Hit the other way, yeah. go for it. Uh, I don't want to be heard. <laughs> Seven, nine, ten, twenty, thirty, sixty, six. Jesus. You grab her, pull her back, the draw the blade across the throat. With a slight muffling sound, she begins to bleed out. Um, still fighting and tensing against your body. Seeing that, I'll switch my spell to the halfling. <laughs> Not necessary on uh, the elf anymore. Do I still have a bonus, uh, bonus action left to hit a second? Time? I'd say so. Yeah, I'm going to shove that in a chest. Okay. Oof. Jeez. Uh, that is 27. <laughs> that hits. And that is eight. Eight damage? Uh, plus, I'll add poison to it. Uh, DC 15. With a seven, no. Okay, so she takes. Uh, an additional uh, 12 points of poison damage. With that, the blade pulses as the poison filters into the the, uh, the bloodstream through the sternum where the blade pierced. Uh, as you quietly hold her in place, she goes still and goes, yeah, go, goes completely limp in your arms. You, however, at this point, have turned cast hold person on the halfling. Yeah. Uh, the halfling sees you jump out and just whisk her out of the out of the alleyway. Turns in that direction, and before it has a chance to react, it pulls back with the whip to go in that direction, <laughs> and just stays there, frozen in place. That's when I release my arrow. Yeah, go for it. Go. Oh. Have advantage in these shots because the uh, entity currently cannot 
Eight, no, 28 for the first hit. 28 for the first hit? Is this, are you going like right up against it or is this from a distance? This is from a distance. Okay, so that hits. Uh, 29 for the second hit. Both those hit. And I want a hunter's mark. Can I hunter's mark? Too late? Can I hunter's mark it? Uh, I'll say sure. Right. There was a countdown. <laughs> <laughs> Two. 18, oh, you made, you made 24 for the first hit, no, 22 for the first hit. Okay. And, uh, God, I can't add 18 for the second hit. Okay. So, both, you know, just the beat of impact, the body tenses in place, and you see a bit of red begin to trickle out of the corner of the mouth of the halfling, however, Still, kind of eyes darting around wildly, trying to figure out what the hell is happening. Um, Scanlan, pike anything? Can I run up and grab the whip out of her hand? <laughs> his hand? Yes, you can. Oh, his hand. Yeah. His hand. So sorry. No, the female has been by. Uh, it's hard to see halfling with that much mud. Um, you go over and just quickly wedge, wedge the whip out of uh, the halfling's hand. No issue. Okay. <laughs> All right, Scanlan, anything? And oh, that's we, probably oh. All I can do. It's, it's pretty quick. It's pretty easy. It'll be like an act, uh, an action. What do you want to do? I'd like to. I'd like to use my mace. Sure, I'll allow. Because he's not defending anything, it's pretty much just like a bonus action to pull out. Six Go seconds. for it. <clears throat> Give advantage on the attack. Okay, sixteen. Sixteen hits. Right. All right. All right. Uh, because it is a melee against a currently paralyzed individual. Uh, is this is a coup de gras? It is considered a critical hit. <gasps> nice! Double the shit. So double, double the dice. So double the dice. Oh. And then add the bonus 20. on top of it. 20 plus. 23. 23. 23. Nice. So as you pull the, the whip out with one hand, you. <laughs> Whack and crack the mace <laughs> right into the face of the halfling, to the point where you hit, and you have to kind of like get the elbow lift to pull it free. See, face is kind of caved in a little bit, Ninja Scroll style, and it's kind of oh, like twitching. <laughs> Still no, conscious. No, that's oh. awful. Make it unconscious. Awful. <laughs> no, not yet. Have to sit through that. Not yet. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Oops. <laughs> Cannot make any of these saves for the life of itself. Can I attack? Uh, you can now, yes. <laughs> I will use the Myth Carver. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Has this okay. happened before? Uh, no, no, I don't he use swords. I don't even know what, I, I'm going to need help. Okay, <laughs> I'll let me help you. Let me help, this, is what, this, is why, this is why we're here. Okay. Um, Roll an attack. Okay. <laughs> you I'm gonna, got this. Uh, I don't know how to use, use a it. die. Okay, I'm going to hold the sword, <laughs> kind of fumble with it, yeah. hold it up again, and then close my eyes and just kind of go like this. Okay, so the attack gives you advantage, but the blindness gives you disadvantage. Okay. It cancels out, so just roll an attack. Uh, plus eight. It's 12 plus, plus eight? So 20. 20, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage, and it's a critical hit. 1d8, so it's 2d8 plus it's a med three. Fire. Good way to break it. Plus There's 1d6 sonic damage, which Wait. is also double. Oh, do I, do I roll twice or do I just not, double this? Uh, you roll tw you twice. Twice. You roll two d8. No, it double. Wait. No, you roll once and then and then roll d8 and a d6. Double that number. Add your bonus. <gasps> it's just hey, that easy. roll a d8 and, and a d6. Because sonic that's damage. A six. Okay, so that's nine. I double that. Eighteen, 18 plus three. Plus three is okay. twenty-one. Twenty-one points of damage. As you fumble with the blade, <laughs> you cover you your eyes as you pull back the blade. Uh, the slight humming sound kind of, uh, the blade actually kind of vibrates in place, and as you thrust forward, it goes through like butter uh, with a heated Lucky blade. Butter. Just like the blade, you, you 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 think you missed, and then you open and peek through your eyes and see that you went straight through his face. <laughs> oh, oh shit. shit! Like you hit nothing. The face, the skull. Nothing. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, this is. <laughs> you pull it out. Jesus. It's still kind of vibrating a little bit. There is no blood on the blade. The actual, like, like the sonic vibrations of the weapon managed to shake free any possibility of any of the gore sticking oh, to the weapon. Oh, that's sick. That's so badass. That's pretty cool. At which, at which point, the spell fades as the life force of this halfling no longer holds sway and the body just crumbles into a pile. Oh, wow. Clear, clear. All right. Wow. 
Onward with our murdering spree. Let's uh, go. Wait, wait. Are they what? going to are, are they going to know that their two people are gone? Eventually. All right. Eventually. We'll just hope that they don't know that we have. All right. All right. Can we loot the body? <laughs> of course you say that. Before we move forward. <laughs> You can if you want to. I'll check the elf. Take a while. I just want to make sure that you know there's nothing I'm, super valuable just sitting on them. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna keep investigation check. I'm gonna keep talking to them to make sure they know what's up. So just talking in the air. They're still what's walking. What's going on, Percy? Walking. At uh, 27. 27. At a cursory glance, it'll take you a couple minutes, which will put you guys a little bit behind Grog's procession to do this. Um, but she managed to find uh, on the two bodies about 125 gold pieces. Um, Two relatively dirty uh, sets of leather armor. Um, one's more of a hide, actually, for the woman who had the, the rapier. It's a hide armor. Um, and uh, that's it. All right. How about on the thing I killed? Anything? But you have the whip. Well, that, that's the whip, the whip oh, that she both? pulled okay. off and leather, yeah. Uh, Can I keep the whip? If you want to. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you take the whip and wrap it up real fast and kind of just attach it to the side of your belt. Kinky. Um, you guys need to press some four. I have it. We'll make another stealth check. Ooh. I'm meteorite. Still pass without a trace. Uh, 22. Yeah. 30. 34. No, pass without a trace is gone. You used Hunter's Mark. Oh. Da. Then 24. Then, then 24. 12. I just burned you. You got oh, burned. I did. It burned. 29. Oh, 21. 11. Okay. Because the ten, the extra ten's gone. Nope, it's all right. <laughs> all right, uh, you guys move on a little bit further um, towards a T portion of the street, where uh, you can now see there's a there's a cart in the center, and uh, what looks to be a number of other uh, Goliaths are currently pulling a few individual, uh, two individuals out of the. Out of their homes and kind of starting to drag them back towards the top of the T intersection where you guys are passing from. As you get to that point, there's a little bit of noise coming that way. Uh, you hear another clank and a shh from behind you in an alley just around the way. And the the elf behind you has been walking quietly, stops and goes, "All right, something not right is going on at this moment." Turns around. You hold here, Goliath. No. No, I don't think I will. But I tell you what, you make a choice. Walk me to Kevdak, or go check out your little spook fest. Looks over to the, uh, the other companion. Go ahead and gather those men. Have them follow you into the alley. And the, uh, the other individual walks towards the alley starts talking to the other Goliaths. They go ahead and take some of the, uh, the people that they're holding by the arms, lift them up over their shoulder, and you now have uh, roughly six individuals, four of which are Goliath, now Goliath, joining up for a total of seven, and they're all heading back towards the alleyway towards you, where the noise run, came from as the elf continues to walk forward with you at his back. Just run and hide. Do we run? Do we? Yeah, 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 yeah. we disappear. Yeah, we disappear. We hide. Okay. Guys begin to vanish. I make one more stealth check to see if you leave any tracks behind or any followable trace. I'm not with them. Yes. No, I'm sorry, because I'm an asshole. Did you get? Hmm? <laughs> Five? I got a two. Oh no! Come back. Oh my god, she's the I worst. Hate my armor. I love it in battle. This is a set you never quite picked up from Gilmore. Fuck. What? That's you oh. had you had commissioned a an armor That's that would be silent, but never, what? Got, never got picked up. Yeah. What? Ages ago, yeah, we commissioned. Yeah, I was wondering what happened. To that. <gasps> I kind of thought we had it already. Buried in rubble now. No, maybe. Maybe. I totally forgot. Maybe when he was dying, he took it with him. <laughs> he got it on, on under maybe, his arm. Maybe maybe he has a magic vault. It might be fine. Maybe it's in a pile it's true, of dragons. He might have a magic don't know if that's a real thing, but he, he might have a magic has ball. a magic ball. I do Maybe not remember that. I don't remember that either. So. Damn so. it. Well, All right. The thought hits you immediately. The memory of like, oh, that's right. As you tumble <laughs> through <laughs> a, a, a sequence of small boxes, 
Uh, your distraction caught you off guard, and you weren't even paying attention to where you were okay. walking briefly before you just fall face first into kind of a mushy mud puddle find, uh, and kind of stand up and look. Scanlan, you want to do anything about this? Of course I do. I'm going to run out up to her and just hold her by the hand. Uh, do they see us at this point? Uh, they are right around the corner. You see Shadow is beginning to approach Scanlan. across the road. Mansion. Open the mansion in a store. He can do whatever he wants. Don't tell him what to do. What uh, they're going to see us if they round the, the corner. You. Are you okay. in here? I hold her by both hands, pants. and I, I dimension door us to the rooftop. Okay. Fine. Using what you've used dimension door twice now today. The That's time. the third. So it's your third and final fourth level spell. Yes, correct. Alrighty. Open the door. Do the top one. Do the bottom lock. Do the top lock. Do the bottom lock. Stay on the arcing tray. Yes. What? As you guys are bickering. No. <laughs> um, around the around the corner, the the crowd, the group steps into the alleyway as this little of purple energy and smoke quickly dissipates, and they all spin, look into the way, glance about, step in and begin to inspect, spend a few moments. One of them goes up to where the, the, the barrels had fallen over, kind of pokes, looks into the mud, and sees some depressions in the mud. There was something following us. Come on. And they all begin to swarm into the alleyway, all seven of them. You guys, are you going, are you backing up further into the alley? Are you trying, what are you doing? I'm, no. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try to parkour up to the ceiling again, up to the rooftops. Acrobatics? I'm just gonna go backwards. Go b backwards? Yeah. Away okay. from them. Okay, so heading backwards to the alley. Can uh, I see this happening? Uh, no, you two have okay. just on the roof, and you're kind of like, okay. you can glance over and look on the side if you want to, um, okay. but this will be like with the next thing you see after I'm, you I'm just course. splitting my attention, trying to figure out what to, to deal with. I Don't go shoot. air Fast. elemental form and into a doorway, into a crack. Okay, so elemental form, you're now kind of this little cluster of wind uh, just underneath the doorway. As they all step in and look about. I 34 it up to the. 34 it up? All right, and you back around the way. Um, they step in and begin to kind of split up a little bit. You guys manage to make it around. You come back around and you can head back to the thoroughfare, continue to follow or find them up on the roof. What are you going to do? I'm going to uh, follow so I can try to see Grawl if it's taken. Okay. So you're going to head back onto the road and kind of duck between alleyways yes. on your own? Yes. Okay. So you can do that way, kind of essentially tracking back around <coughs> as they had entered and past them as they're spreading out into the alleyways. Most of you guys are up on the roof now, and Keyleth, you just kind of watch them as they move past and eventually just kind of uh, behind them. Do you want to, where do you want to go? What? What do you want to do? Hiding. Yeah. You they, want to be on they, the they move past and everyone, all of your companions are currently gone. You're by yourself, hiding this big underneath a doorway in your elemental form. What do you want to do? They're gone, though. They've moved past you. Yeah, they did not notice. We've okay. moved on, Kayla. Then I, I try and find them, still in my form, but misting okay. about. Okay, huh? so you, <laughs> this little, this little burst of wind that comes up to the rooftop, and as you get up there, you can see uh, a couple roofs over, a couple of dots of the rest of your companions that are slowly making their way along the road. Okay, I follow them. <laughs> okay. You guys make your way. <laughs> you lot are so funny. You know, I think I saw something running hard in that pile of horse shit over there. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. No I'm response. actually, um, since I'm already air, uh, elemental form, I'm gonna go ahead and start parting off from the rest of the crowd. I'm gonna flank around to the other side. I'm gonna okay. start flanking. Okay, so you, you gather the other side now. Uh, the bells have now fully subsided. All the various warning bells that would go off every few minutes, just kind of keeping the state of awareness going, have begun to just dissipate and stop. Um, the the elf behind you is kind of glancing back and forth over her shoulders, but still keeps blade put forward. You go crack past that T intersection, continuing onward into the open uh, central square on the north portion of the road. The, there's the main central road that you guys have been walking, and it opens up into uh, brick and cobblestone 
upward with a slight square road interface in the center. Uh, a series of shops uh, and tents, and on the left side, uh, you recall, is where Noja's shop uh, once was. Abjurus Noja, who had saved you at the first Winter's Veil. Vale. Um, uh, not that you guys see this at the moment, but you see this kind of glancing off to the side. Um, itself, the door is kind of half open. It looks like the window is broken, and the inside has probably been ransacked as well. Um, and the, as you step in, you can see there are a number of, of, of tents that are half fallen over, carts that are tipped over with uh, fruit and vegetables that have scattered across the floor and have just been left there to rot. Um, there are barrels uh, containing, uh, looks like rainwater that has gathered over time, and section after section of these wedged barricades of just pieces of wood that have been jammed into piles with giant spikes uh, and and pole arms that have been jammed in there as a defensive place, and just to be an ominous uh, position for anyone who attempts to walk into this vicinity. And you see uh, about every five or six of these, there is a head adorning it that has been just kind of wedged on and pushed as a warning. Um, Recognize any of those heads? Uh, make a perception check. Oh, God. Mm. <clears throat> I don't want to know the answer. No. Well, I recognized a couple earlier. Yeah, you had. Um, I don't think Seven. you told us yet. Yeah. Uh, you glance about a little bit, nothing catches your eye. You're too focused on the goal at hand as you step th through each barricade. As you go through the first set, already you can see the cluster of uh, Goliaths and, and a couple of the individuals that step forward. Be like, Hey! Who are you bringing here? And the elf behind you says, Apparently, a blood relative of Kevdax. Is this true? And a few of the Goliaths step forward and say, <laughs> Well, I only doubt that. And one of them off the side says, Blood relative. <laughs> the only one up inside and then steps forward. And you see uh, the next Goliath that you recognize. This is one of the older seers who has one eye that is completely clattered over white and is this kind of swollen, pus-filled socket that has been kind of perpetually infected over time. Um, no. He steps forward with this kind of uh, 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 thick, kind of a, a, a almost like a moss-like crust that just kind of is gathered under his neck. No. Um, and he was, he was called Greenbeard because this weird kind of uh, and whatever infection or ailment he had caused this kind of moss-type material to kind of grow across his neck and chest area. And he kind of comes forward using this walking <coughs> stick, this kind of gnarled branch that he uses, and... Is it really you, Strongjaw? I see your eye still serves you well. <laughs> You know, it was Anwar told us that he came across you up north. We beat the shit out of him for being a liar. No, you should have beat the shit out of him for being a coward. He begged me to let him go. Really? <laughs> well, seems we know at least he's caused all the commotion recently. Dead man walking me down by himself into the belly of the beast. So. Men, take his head. And he steps back as about seven other Goliaths from up behind and two longbow individuals in the far end go ahead and draw arrows and begin to notch them. I take a, I take a beat. Well, it would be such a shame. It seems all of you would be missing out on the greatest show of your life. You see, in this bag, I carried a very thing that will topple the mighty Kevdak. You know what I remember? I remember a herd that nations used to part for. I remember a herd that towns used to quake and run from. I remember a herd that was so proud and dangerous they would never hole up in a shit stink city like this. But what do I see when I come here? Kevdak, prancing up in a place like this, and what? Bending the knee to a dragon? How far you have fallen. Now, if you have any honor, honor in you at all, you'll take me to Kevdak, and you will see what I have for him. And then maybe, just maybe, you 
can call yourselves warriors again instead of piss-pot squatters. There's a moment of pause as all the Goliaths that are approaching have stopped in their tracks. You can see their neck muscles tensing as they're kind of wringing their fingers across the handles of their various weapons. Um, at this point, Greenbeard kind of takes a moment and... <laughs> You sound like your cousin, Zanro. The two of you will enjoy your nights drinking in the hole. For sure, you want to go ahead and talk to the big man. Let's see you say that to his face before he crushes it. <laughs> Call him out! Thunderlord! You've a visitor! At which point, there's all the uh, Goliaths step back and some of them turn their blades or weapons around and <laughs> start slamming them on the ground in a rhythmic tone. <laughs> over and over again. And some of them start going into the slow chant. <laughs> and as this happens louder and louder, the clattering echoes through the center of this marketplace this now desolate space. Some of them that were clutching people just kind of throw them to the sides, and some of the peasants begin to like scramble up against a wall, not knowing where to go, or seemingly knowing that if they were to try to flee, it would be the very end of their existence and are just frozen in fear. As this is happening, you see at the Margrave's home, uh, the multi-tiered homestead, this beautiful mansion which is now smeared with gore that is dried dark brown and brittle. Uh, this, the flickering glow of interior candlelight catches your attention until Across the top floor, you see a balcony that looks over the entirety of this open area. And there, the dark form of Kevdak steps out, a towering Goliath in his own right. As he comes forward, puts his hands on the railing, the rhythmic slamming of the weapons growing loud like this cacophonous rhythm, his fingers slowly tense in the wood, splinters in his grasp, as you can see before you indeed, the Titanstone gauntlets themselves, almost cartoonish in size, even against his large frame. He looks down with his gleaming red eyes, smooth, bald head, no tattoo adorning it, but the most of his entire body nearly black with scrawlings of ink for every single life he's taken as he's led this herd. He looks down <laughs> into the center of this area, down to you. With a, a joyous smile, almost, and says, Grok Strongjaw. I would never have expected this. Not in a very, very long time. I've got to say, I've got to give credit to my boy for not being quite the uh, fable maker that I thought he was. Trying to appease me with the ideas of finishing a thread that apparently was left hanging. So, you come here, castaway of the herd of storms. You have my attention. Now, what words do you bring my ears before I tear them from your skull, boy? Hello, Uncle. The piece of shit you wiped off your boot has come home. When last we saw each other, you saw it fitting to beat down a mere child. I remember another child that got a beating. Seems like he came from your nutsack. <laughs> and my, what an easy task that was. Sometimes the easiest to us are the most enjoyable if you let them string out for a long, long time. Well, a regular chip off the old block. If he's anything like his father, that is. So I'll tell you why I've come back. Please do. 
See, I've grown. I've learned. I've also watched as dragons took the mighty Kevdak, wielder of the Titan Stone Knuckles, and made him bend the knee. I was wondering, do you also squat when you piss now? <laughs> there are a few chuckles <laughs> that are immediately silenced at the realization. Kevdak, seemingly unflinched by this, puts one hand on the railing and leaps over, <laughs> landing on the stone platform that makes the roof of the initial walkway and foyer of this mansion. He steps out to the edge of it and crosses his arms and goes, See, that's your folly, Grogu, as it was your father's. You short-sighted. Survival isn't just chewing meat you find and killing what gets in your way. If you pick a fight that you can't win, history won't remember a blood smear on anyone's boot. The dragon was a stage. I've not bent the knee like you think I have. I've merely let it coexist for the time being. But let's just say that dragon's days are numbered. But it's a shame that you won't be around to see it. Oh, fancy words for what I hear as surrender. But that's all right. I've always believed the world is what we make of it. And you've shown me exactly who you are. You've shown this herd exactly who you are and what they can expect to live a nice domesticated life where the booty runs dry, where the women are scarce, and where I'm sure there are plans at this very minute to unseat you from your high horse. But I've come to do them a favor. They're not gonna get that chance. You and me, I challenge you to single combat for the pride of this herd. At this moment, there is a long silence as just a breeze kind of finds its way spiraling through the center of this town. Kevdak lays motionless at the top of the mansion precipice. Everyone else looks up to him from you, their, their faces aghast at what just transpired and staring up to him atop the mansion. He looks down. One side of his mouth curls into a wicked smirk. He puts his hand up like this, and you see as the rows of archers that were along the rooftops near our buildings lessen their grip on the bow and put the arrows away. He crosses his arms again. We reserve the right of single combat to members of the Herd of Storms. You haven't been in number within our mists for years since you decided to lie there and bleed like a goat. But I can't say I'm not amused by your gull. So, for the purposes of this bout, let it be known that Grog Strongjaw is a temporary member of the herd. But the moment his lifeless corpse hits this stone, he will be stripped of any honor and fed to the wolves. And he leaps off and lands, cracking the stone beneath his feet. As he stands again, assemble the ring! and you watch as all of the Goliaths start grabbing and moving the barricades, scooting them into a circular pattern around the center of this area. Go ahead and fetch the uh, town square if you could. Oh, jeez! 
fetch fetch the, the town, town square. square. <laughs> if you please. If you don't mind. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, oh look! What you really did it, you oh son of a bitch! Oh <laughs> you weren't kidding. <laughs> Three days ago, you like go out of the. You, we had dinner, and he left the sushi bar with a big handful of toothpicks, going, "I have plans for these." <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's true. I was like, "Did you steal toothpicks?" He did. Alrighty, so. Oh my God. It's beautiful, and it's all made out of cake. This around this <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I ate the whole thing. <laughs> Fuck that Shit, house! Look inwards? at that house! The spice are baking. Why don't we inward? live there? Yes, they are. Yeah, for Why don't we live there? Like, yeah. <laughs> Someday. Oh, it's so tight. Oh God! Oh God! Tight, 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 Are we around? Can we see any of this? You guys are watching this happen. Yeah, where are we? We're flanking, slowly but surely. Stealthily. Very stealthily. I'm finding perch on a rooftop so that I can deal with this shit. I'm a puff of clouds. I'm holding Pike's hand. <laughs> You're holding up, yeah. For comfort. For I'm comfort. feeling guilty my for comfort. getting in a fight with my brother right before I got up on the rooftop. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> this, this is a great idea. This is the part where Matt plays dolls. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where are you guys right now? You're watching this happen from a distant rooftop right at the edge. Is it possible I to was, move the camera to get the, to get the house? I was flanking. Is it possible to move the camera to get the house? Right, so you are currently in elemental form. Can I kind of attempt to actually on get on the roof? Just that. Can I get um, that one? On the roof. Can I get kind of on this balcony area? Yeah. Over there? Yeah. Uh, if you want to, uh, it's going to be. Mist form? Oh, okay. This isn't a mist form, this is your air elemental form. Or, yeah, air elemental form. But I can, I can move through things. You can. So you can. Super, super, super thin. It's like my right, thing. so you want to just glide into like a part of the stonework over here? or? Right, yeah. Alrighty. So, at, at this time, as everyone assembles, all the spikes inward in this circle position, and you stand in the place, Kevdak walks into the center of the ring. He takes the, uh, the gauntlets, puts a hand out, and one of the Goliaths comes up and takes a weapon that you haven't seen in a while. This dark red rust-colored axe is placed into his one hand as the gauntlet grips around it, taking the blood axe in his hand. He closes his other fist and slams them together, and as he slams them together with a <laughs> sound of metal, his form warps and grows. And was once already Kevdak, who held a good four to five inches on your height, swells to about 12 feet tall. Mm, excuse me? Mm, bullshit. Oh. Wait, Kevdak just grew? Yes. yes. Kevdak just grew. Oh my god. I just peed. Uh, Holy <clears throat> shit. Ashley or Pike? Uh, so, whereabouts are you guys at this moment? Just give me some inclination. So, Keyleth is over there, keeping relatively hidden as a uh, air elemental. I need you to make a stealth check as part of that to see if you're noticed. Natural 20. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, girl. That I like. <coughs> Figuring out where you're hiding. Are we coming from behind there or from this side? I'll take. I'll take uh, this. This. You guys would be coming from uh, from this direction here. I'll take the three o'clock. If the house is twelve. I'll take the three o'clock. So you'll be kind of up over in this position. Over there. Over here. Okay. So yeah. we'll say Percy is up in the up in the roof the area. Six o'clock. Nine o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Okay. Need you to go ahead and roll stealth check as well as you move up there to make sure you're not seen. Where are the rest of you? Natural 20. Oh! What? what? You guys I have to. Is there a stealth throw guys. in this area? It is. <laughs> off to the side there, if you'd like to maneuver in this area as well. Yeah. For those who want to be on this side, who wants to be up there with Vex? 
Should we dimension door up there? Well, we've been. Or uh, we, you guys we been following best you can we've, to get to this we've area. Been following wherever. So you guys want to be over there with Vex? We probably went up with Vex. We probably, did. yeah. We don't right. know what we're Vex, doing. Vex, were you? Uh, I guess I'm maybe off by that fountain in the corner of your map. Over there? Us. Yeah. This, is an, this is an open area That's over here? That's all open? This is all open. This is the center of the uh, town square. Then I would be at the bottom of the building that Vex is in. Okay, so you're kind of close down, like kind of looking through the window out yeah. into the main thoroughfare. Okay, good to know. So, Grog, Grog, with this, I want you to roll initiative. <gasps> Can I can I take Trinket out of the? I'd like to, yeah. Do you want it? Your call. Trinket's gonna make some noise. Initiative. Seventeen. Yeah. Seventeen. Be able to to, to bear and. <coughs> right. Uh, as you guys begin this fray, uh, what are you, uh no no Trinket Tr yes Trinket what are you doing? Okay, Trick is staying in the necklace. All right. You, as Kelgdot takes into large form, the blood axe swelling with his size, gets into a combat position and she says, Show me what you've learned, strong jaw. You're going first. You beat him on initiative. First. Go for it. Jesus. It's gonna lose. No, it's not safe. I would like to rage the rage of my ragey life. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to use intimidating presence on Kepdak. Okay. That's a risk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's your action on that. Okay. Uh, so, what's the DC on that one? 18. 18, and what's the save? Oh, I mean, that's the... Eight. Eight. 17 is the wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, for that one, I remember if that one is a. It says within 30 feet, fright until end of next turn, wisdom saving throw. 10 right. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, as you glare out there, how do you go about this glare? What do you do to, to intimidate him? I go, in, I go into a rage, and with my flaming warhammer, I grab the end of the hammer and let it cook my flesh for a minute. And then I smack myself on the chest and rip out the biggest bellow I have! As you do, Kevdak, who goes to take a step forward, takes the single step, hesitates, and seems to just hold his ground, yeah. eyeing you down and kind of seemingly not expecting this ferocity. Never works. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, that's your action and your bonus. Are you gonna move and you stay where you are. There are no openings in the ring, right? Nope. Wait, you had inspiration, by the way. Would that have helped a lot? No. I mean, oh, there are side openings, like areas here where you can step out, but you get the sense that as people are gathering around, they're kind of actually, they would be plugging elements of this exit to prevent yep. you from Closing the gap. Oh god, there's so much. With my bonus there. action I yell, Coward! And that's it. Okay. Technically the rage is the bonus action, but you can shout that for free. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, so for Kevdak's turn, Kevdak uh <clears throat> kind of realizing that he can't he's not able to really move closer at this moment. Kind of steps to the side here. Oh, oh really? Guarding oh, shit. kind of His waiting. And uh, yeah, it's gonna go ahead and take a bonus action to go into his own rage. I just had to try and make it work at least once. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> and it did. Yeah. It's very good. I'm not. Hey man. Yeah. yeah. At least I can say I didn't die without it working once. Don't, don't. Not gonna die, that. Grog. No one said that. So, uh, uh, Kevdak goes into his own rage. As, as Kevdak goes into a rage, screaming out, <laughs> the ground shakes and little stones and rocks tend to like kind of scatter across the work from the vibration of it. 
and you see some of those tattoos, the black ink that goes across his chest, you see what looks like a bear that is hidden within the tattoo that flares up with a flash of kind of dark, deep red crimson energy and then fades back into the chest. Oh, what? Like 1984. You're up, Grog. Raging. They're, they're, yeah, he used body hair. I go into a frenzied rage. Okay. And I charge headlong into Kevdak with my firebrand Warhammer. All right. Actually, he backed up against the ring, right? Uh, oh! He's backed up against the edge of one of the openings, yeah. But if you want to go from here, these. But there's the lots of pointies behind him, right? Uh, in one one angle, yeah. I'd like to drive my head right into his chest with the end of my. Can I move into him hard and see if I can push him back against one of the spot the pikes? I'll say sure. Uh, I still have. If I'm frenzying, would I still have two attacks after that? Uh, that would be your action to do that. So you would have your bonus action if you wanted to. No, no, I'll just run up to him and hit him three times. Okay, go for it. Yeah, <laughs> the first two are just normal. Okay. I'll just roll this first. 27. That hits. 24. Hits. 16. Misses. More God's blessing? <laughs> You have What's the range on that? And inspiration. Oh, and you have inspiration. inspiration. Yeah, I mean, this may not be the moment, though. Yeah, not yet. Come on. I've got more. It's early. <laughs> Where the fuck is my thing? I oh, go. it's right in front of me. I'm sweet. Unfortunately, inspiration fades in 10 minutes. 30 feet, so. 30 feet? Yeah, he's too far away if he had affected War God's Blessing. So the first two strikes, go ahead and roll for damage. Okay. If they do hit. Oh, 23 plus uh, five, so 28 with the fire damage on the first one. Okay. And the second one, three, eight, 16, 17. 17. Okay, as you slam, whack, whack with the flaming war hammer twice into the oversized Kevdak's chest. Each hit hits, but Kevdak is just barely pushed back by each and the damage, even the fire damage, seems to be taken down by his raging capabilities. Um, the impacts aren't doing as much damage as you hoped they would. Damn it. But I believe that ends your turn, unless you want to move. Nope, no moving. All right, Kevdak's turn. Kevdak's going to go ahead and strafe around this way and is going to go ahead and reckless attack on you. Okay. So that's an advantage on each strike. Uh, is going to take both of these as Weapon Master, Fear Weapon Master. Uh, that is a 28 to hit. Oh, sorry, minus five, 23. Hits. Second one. Uh, 28 to hit again, actually. 28 to hit? 28 to hit with the minus five. This is, I mean, hits, sorry. All right. You suffer, let's see. Four. Uh, plus that. As both of the ax swings come through you, you suffer a total of, uh, 54 points of slashing damage. Reduced? Uh, reduced by half. So that brings it to uh, 27. Okay. Plus an additional 10 points of necrotic damage that you do not reduce. Uh, while all the uh, attention is focused on them, can I stealth down to the ground for a second? Make a stealth check. How are you getting down? Are you climbing down via acrobatics? So make a stealth and an acrobatics check. Uh, 29 for stealth. Okay. And 25 for acrobatics. Okay. You've managed to make it to the ground, kind of jumping off the side, parkouring down, grabbing the next ledge, leaping down. That's that's your turn. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
Anybody else doing anything until we come back in the next round? I mean, uh, do yeah. we do anything do right now? Right. Not until it, it gets sad. So. I just want to duck. So. Can I just duck in the bloody. building at least? Is yeah, that part of the cell? Sure, yeah. Okay. You, go instead, you go come to the door, and the door itself is not locked. You kind of just push inside and dark off. Everyone's okay. attention is so focused in the center. Yep, let them go. Okay. All right. So that brings it to the top of the round. Grog, you're up. Feeling the impact of those hits and remembering our first encounter, I drop the Firebrand Warhammer, I rush Kevdak, and I want to try and rip away the Blood Axe. Oh. Okay. You rush up and drop the hammer, grab, and you're, my face to face is right at your feet. You reach up and grab with your fingers, which barely wrap around this axe's shaft right now, uh, at the, the size that it's swollen. And you pull against him. I want you to go ahead and make a strength check. Looks like an advantage on. Yep, versus his strength, which he gets advantage on. Uh, 17. Oof. Natural 20. Oh, come oh. on! As you pull, Kevdak, Kevdak actually lifts you up oh. off the ground, holding the axe up to his face. And he just goes, like father, like son. Oh. And shakes you off, and, uh, well, doesn't even shake you off, just butts you off of the axe, and you skid to the ground. Uh, uh, take one point of bludgeoning damage, no big deal. Um, land on the ground, you, do, you don't fall prone, but you're there and you can probably grab your Warhammer and pick it back up as the rest of your round if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh that my ends god. your turn. At this point now, Kevdak, who's kind of laughing to himself. <laughs> uh, he's uh, consulting the book. Is when he does that. No. Why? What, what, what could that possibly mean? He's probably looking up the price of a mace. Yeah. Yeah. yeah totally. Just All right. Interested. What's who was the? Kit run for? Who did this illustration mace? again? Oh yeah. I don't want you to make an athletics check. <laughs> does he get advantage on that? Oh yes, you do, because of the rage. Right. That's a Z. Uh, uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Well, twenty-two. He puts the axe to one hand, reaches down with his large mitt, grabs you and lifts you up, and pushes you onto one of the spears behind you and just kind of shifts through your, you can feel it actually pierce out the front ah. of your chest about six inches. And you, you're, you're, so your feet are still on the ground and you can feel, feel yourself there, but there is an element of being pinned there. Uh, you take... Uh, 12 points of piercing damage, reduced to six. Oh, um, this is nothing to a barbarian. Simple piercing, whatever. Oh, God. Um, however, you are technically what? considered, uh, this would be grappled. You're unable to move until you manage to break this. You can still attack from this position if you wanted to, but you have to be able to try and spin an action to get free. Um, so that's going to be the one attack, and then as you're pinned, he's going to come up with the blood axe and swing down. Uh, uh, that's going to be a 23 against you. Blood axe comes down and slams right into your front of your chest, the sternum area. Uh, even with the, uh, the weight of it, you bring your hands up and grab the edge of it and manage to stop some of the force, but it still digs into the front of your chest. You take uh, four, five, seven. Take 19 points of slashing damage, uh, reduced to nine. Oh, okay, okay. I release Trinket inside the house that I'm in. Plus an additional six necrotic. Oh, that does not get reduced. So nine and then 15. So 15. 15, yeah. What are you doing? I release Trinket quietly inside the house <laughs> and tell him to keep, keep quiet. <laughs> Don't fall on me. Okay, anyone else say anything else? Uh, no, I'm just trying to keep an eye on, I'm trying to keep as aware of everything We're as gonna possible. just, uh, Pike and I are gonna just inch forward on the on the rooftop to get just a little closer. 
Okay. Yeah, can I do the same in my elemental form? Like, kind of just, I'm going to mist kind of down around, kind of right behind this asshole. Okay. Would it, would it, what's up? I'm a spooky mist. Take some time <laughs> to get, like, behind that fountain. It's, that's, that's in the, in the open. The... I asked oh, about that open. first. Yeah. yeah. This is one quarter of the square. All right. Grog, it's your turn. Okay. Said I can attack from having a pole shoved through my shoulder? Yeah. Would that be a disadvantage? <laughs> no, not at this distance. You just, you're grappled so you can't move. You're essentially stuck there until you use an action to get off of it. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. Yeah, I gotta get off of it. I'm gonna get off of it. Okay, so using an action to bring free? Yeah. Make an athletics check. With advantage because you're raging. Uh, 23. 23? There's not a lot of ground to pull yourself off of it with the weight, so instead, with your feet on the ground, you reach forward and grab the front of his blood axe again, and pull forward as you do, you feel the back of this wooden spear snap off, and it's still just embedded in your chest, poking out the front, but you are now free. Still have your bonus action. I would like to use Great Weapon Master and I have advantage on this because he used reckless. reckless yep. And I'll use his inspiration. Oh, you don't have an inspiration, it faded. It only lasts for 10 minutes. Oh, there you go. But yeah. Uh, 23. That hits, go and roll damage. Uh, 19. Nope. 20, 29. Ooh. 29 with the plus oh. 10, right? Yeah. Okay, that brings it to 14 damage, reduced by his rage effect as well. As the hammer slams once again into his abdomen, you can see it leaving a char mark and actually kind of obscuring one of the tattoos, and you can kind of <laughs> Stupid boy. Um, you can move around him if you wanted to. You still have a movement. Yeah, I'll move. I would like to move to his flank away from the the nearest okay, pointy so you, thing. You shift around that way? Okay. With his turn now, he spins around to face you. He's going to go ahead and attempt his first attack on you as a disarming <coughs> attack. Uh, with advantage on that because of these, he's just going with this attack every round. Uh, that's going to be a 30? Yep, yeah, that'll, that'll hit. Okay. <laughs> Not great with Master. Um, but 30, so he's going to do an additional superiority die of damage on top oh of this. Jesus. Oh my god. So you take. Alright. Uh, well, 17 points of slashing damage. This is a nine. So eight. Uh, eight. Yeah. Eight plus nine. two necrotic. So 10 total. And I need you to go ahead and make a strength saving throw. With advantage. Oh, no, no oh, advantage. What? Not. Oh. Uh, no, with rage, is it, is it strength ability checks and saving throws? It's safe. Advantage on strength check and strength saving throws. Yep. So, yeah, so with advantage on this. Uh, 13. 13? No, no, no. 16. Sorry. 16, okay. Um,. So as he slams into your side, you pull up the, the flaming war hammer to guard the blow. It takes some of it, but then he hooks the bottom of the axe underneath the head and actually like flings it out of your hand, and you lose the grip on the war hammer, which then clatters to the ground at your feet. He's then going to turn around and going to go ahead and do a pushing attack with one of his other superiority die. Uh, that is going to be. This is going to be uh, with Great Weapon Master. That brings it to a 21. Uh, that's my AC. Alrighty. So you take from the actual blow 9 plus 12, 21 points of slashing damage, reduced to 10. Okay. And 5 necrotic. I'm going to use so. my stone's endurance. Go for it. How do we take you down to with stone's endurance? That's just a d12 plus my, which is a 12, uh, plus Dang. my constitution, so that's 17. So as the blow comes, you just take it right to the center of the chest. As it hits, 
it barely cuts in before you go ahead and grab and deflect it yes. with your hand, doing no damage to you whatsoever. Ooh. However, the impact of it, though, make a strength saving throw. Advantage. With advantage again. Eighteen. Eighteen. However, the sheer force of trying to deflect it does push you back fifteen feet. Ow. Oh. Right no. on the edge there. We'll say. We'll say you're right there. That's fine. Um, and you stop right at the edge of another edge of the, the spikes, and there are two glides that are there with their weapons out, just kind of forcing you back into the ring if you decide to back up any further. Um, and uh, with that, Kepdak's going to go ahead and move forward and kind of push you into that corner. Uh, that's going to end his turn. You're up. I'm going to look at Kepdak and drop my arms to my side. Uh, it's already on your side, actually. He, he disarmed it. No, 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 not my arms. Oh, your arms, okay. Straight down. And I'm gonna say, clearly, I've been a fool. You are truly a foe to be reckoned with. And I will slowly drop to my knee. <gasps> No, no, Grog. And I will shout out, Vox Machina! Two shots. Fuck shit! Oh! <laughs> Two shots, ready. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and end it there this week. No! Ah! It's 11 o'clock, guys. It's oh, 11 o'clock. Right. Oh, and we started fuck, late. Man. Oh, I know, I know. Crap. Curse you, technical difficulties! <laughs> wow. 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 We need to remember where we are, you guys. Oh, we'll take a photograph. That's what iPhones are for. Yeah. No, no, no. No, we're, we're taking photos. I don't think I can and we're, I'm leaving this here for next week oh, so okay. we can have this up and ready for us to jump back oh in. Oh my god. Shut up. Fuck wow. Shit. Oh, wow. So unsatisfying. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Go. Oh, I want to no. go right now. If you guys want to keep going, we can go to midnight on. It's up to you, but <laughs> it's a Thursday night. I know. I know. Let's, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Okay. What's, what's, what's the general consensus tomorrow. say? I have to shoot. General consensus is it's 11 p.m. Yeah. Yep. Let's be keeping the crew here as well. Let's call yeah. it. Yeah. We can't and we had a very long Christmas and everything the week You're before. Right. So let's go ahead and we'll. We'll call it tonight. We'll pick up right at this ridiculous moment next week. Uh, Tune in next week. Uh, oh, it's like the man. battle of blue balls. <gasps> full of Goliath balls are blue. The go Goliath <laughs> balls are so blue. <coughs> oh man. Dude, was he was so this. much more powerful than what. It's I was not expecting this. He's so we, big. I think you were ready to give you an out. We were ready to give you an out. I think it's going well. I think you can take him. I think it's going well. Yes, I, think it's well. I think we got him. match. Right for We won't want wanna... him. Just five more minutes. Five more minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Five more minutes. Where are you at hit points wise? 133. Oh, oh you're fine. fine. You could have gone for another Pansy. six rounds. Wait, you're at 133 out of your total? 201. Oh. What? He's More fine. Well, he was fine. Doing I'm, I know. I'm, I'm doing, doing oh, whatever nothing tank. to him. Even yeah, no, that's true. You haven't done that. That's true. Has he done any damage to him at all? Yeah, a little. Grog? He's done some. Little. Yeah, Grog's done uh, it's 34 points of damage. Yeah. Wow, out of like 500 hit yeah, points, it's probably. Just, it's... There's different paths to a barbarian. There's the frenzy path, which is all about damage. Totem. There's the totem path, which totem of the bear means you're half damage from everything except psychic damage. So, Real uh... quick, be psychic. <laughs> Good luck with that, guys. Quick, <laughs> um, But yeah, this, this is where that totem really shines. Man. Yeah. Um, if I steal your Kevdak mini, then he can't be killed. That's true. I've got four. So wait, where does the other <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Much. Where does the other totem shine in damage dealing? Probably. Frenzy's all about damage dealing. Mm. That's what Grog's. Oh, that's not mine. That's yours. Yeah. Oh, anyway, guys, we'll pick this up next week at whatever this is about to be, and I have no idea what this is about oh to be, but it's about to get crazy. It's like with cameras and stuff, though. We'll have cameras and stuff in yeah. there. Yeah, hopefully we'll, functional cameras. Yeah, we'll have a video card <coughs> next week. 
these are. We may already have um, one. We may already have one thanks to Fry's yeah. Yeah. Electronics. The fickleness of technology and yeah. the wondrous hard work of our crew. But once again, make this still happen, guys. Once again, as who I don't know who it was that pointed out, but we went 50 episodes, 50 episodes, 50 yeah, episodes yeah. without any real huge like hardware failures. Yeah. Hardware failures. So that's funny. Good on you. Well, guys. 50, episode 51. <laughs> just ate it. Thank you guys for enduring our uh, spree of technical issues uh, and our evening of one cuts. I hope it wasn't too distracting. Um, please do come back next week because this shit's going to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to want to miss this. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys next week. And uh, is it Thursday yet? Uh, mm -hmm. Have a good night. <laughs>